Buh. Gah. It's me. Welcome, guys. What's going on? Good to see you. Wow, look at... Where are we? What is this beautiful street? Oh, my God. What? Before, after. Don't make fun of my thumbnails, okay? That's a, that's a high-quality thumbnail I'll have you now. You, listen, you just wouldn't understand, okay? You just... High-quality thumbnail art like that. It, it just comes around once every blue moon, okay? Hold on. I have to eat a bite of my sandwich. Please hold while I bite into a sandwich. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Right, do be one of the sandwiches of all time. Alright. Do I see Covenant Rocks? No. Not on Earth. The map we are on right now takes place on Earth. A human planet. The human homeworld. And these are human buildings in Africa. Oh my god, sorry. I was swallowing sandwich bites. Alright, so, here's what's going on. This entire city is going to be fully destructible. And, uh, while it may look like I have already populated the city, I'm going to just, I'm going to let you know now, okay? It's an illusion. This is one street. Where is Earth located? So, I don't know, somewhere in space. Probably. And if I had to guess. Oh, my weasel, you're here. I'm streaming, though. I'm not going to pet you. Or am I? Oh yeah, hold on. I have to sip coffee too. You know, you already know. I can't stream without my coffee. <sighs> All right. Earth is located at the edge of one of the pinwheels of the Milky Way galaxy. Erm, um, actually, it's not at the edge. It's closer to the middle than it is the edge. It's more like one, more like two thirds of the way out. Saying it's on the edge is just disingenuous. Whoa, modded gamer, tipped six dollars. Thank you so much. That's the most you've ever tipped, maybe ever. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the support. Hmm, this still isn't stream elements. No, maybe not. Yeah, actually, it's definitely not. Listen, I've been really busy, okay? I just, I've been working on this mod. Look, you, you want to see what I did? I have cool stuff to show you guys, okay? I have really cool stuff to show you guys. Check this out. Okay, I, it was an illusion, by the way. I definitely forgot to add more street, but we'll add more street today, which is, you know, it's fine. Check this out. Are you ready? See that big new building? You guys probably remember this house, right? This is the house that I, I made on stream. I have, like, gotten it looking a little bit better. And also, fun fact, there is a new building. Uh, where is it? This one. New building. Unlocked. It's a little bit hard to see right now because the shading is kind of ass. But new building. Looking pretty cool. It's got, like, little tower thingies. You know, it's another thing ripped out of Halo 2's campaign. And guess what? It is also destructible. I'm going to shoot at it. Okay, admittedly, I forgot to turn my sound back on, which is a little awkward. But yeah, as you can see, it is also a destructible building. Once again, work in progress destruction. Doesn't look quite as good as if I shot that one over there. But as you can see, the destruction goes kind of crazy now. I added a lot more detail to the effect, so it's starting to look a little bit better. So now when these buildings get destroyed by the Scarab, it'll look a lot more interesting. At least I think so. Looks kind of weird when you angle it over there, but yeah, overall, better destruction. I don't know why the skybox like renders through it at the angle of the sun, but I should be able to fix that. Yeah, the buildings have a lot nicer destruction that I'm a pretty big fan of. I think it looks a lot better. Um, I do want to add an interior, because this building's really big, and as you can see, even when it's destroyed, it doesn't have any interior, but it'd be pretty easy for me to make one, and you can just, like, walk around inside. Very straightforward and simple to pull off. I, I really want to do that. I think it'd be fun if you could be, like, inside this building, just, like, chilling, and all of a sudden you don't even realize a scarab stomps directly through it. It's looking awesome. Needs more variety. Oh, 100%. You're using boolean operations, right? Yeah, I'm just booleaning with a big wavy cube to... Well, that's at least how I'm doing it right now. I'll add some more proper detail later on. This is just so that I have something destroyed looking to use. It's it's definitely not the, you know, final form. This is... I honestly shouldn't even have done a second building yet. I just really wanted some variety. I was tired of looking at the same single building over and over. And I think it was kind of worth it, to be real. 
Booleans are going to be super helpful for digging out some rooms as well. Oh, true. Yeah, actually, I was just going to manually model the rooms, but yeah, and Boolean could be the move. I could just make an inverted room and then just do that instead. Hold on, I'm sandwiching. Hmm. Damn. Dark Bull! Thank you so much for the 14 months, dude. Appreciate it. I've been going crazy with uploads the past few days. Is that an advertisement? Is that a thinly veiled advertisement for your channel? Well, thank you. I appreciate the 14 months. <laughs> not really. Not really is not a no. I'm just, just throwing that out there. Oh, wait. That looks silly. Well, congrats. I'm going crazy with the uploads. You're doing better than me, all right? I am not going crazy with the uploads right now. But I should be soon. I will very much be uploading. I'll be uploading very much, even. All right, check this out. Good luck. I need sleep. Hey, have a good one, Brains. It's good seeing you, man, as always. Redstone, thank you for the membership. Appreciate you becoming a member. I like the simplicity of your icon and name. It's just Redstone, period. It's pretty nice. I'm going to tell your chat to sub to me instead. They should be subbed to you. Hold on, building? Is this going to be another Fortnite mod? You bet your ass it will be. I did not mean to get in that turret. Guys, we are going into the test city. We are driving inside the test city. So, for the record, it's not actually supposed to be this destructive. You might have noticed that the Scarab is, like, actually just obliterating everything just by being near it. It's a little bit too destructive at the moment. Um, I will be reducing the Scarab's path of destruction a little bit. The reason... The reason is because of how damage is being calculated between the toes and the buildings right now. The radius of the buildings that's checking for damage is way too big, and I'm going to reduce it. Darkbolt, thank you so much for the two. I really appreciate that. Thank you much. You guys down for contractors later? No, I'm going to be busy, way too busy to do contractors tonight, but I do appreciate the offer. Mmm. That was a good sandwich. All right, I'm going to tell you guys my plan, okay? If you notice, right, I was, you probably saw me talking about this recently. If I press Alt, we get a view of this sphere, this red sphere that surrounds the building. This is what's known as the bounding radius, the bounding box, basically. Which means if I look beyond that red box, that red sphere, it starts to disappear. You see that? We lose the visuals of the building. The problem is, for whatever reason... Probably for optimization reasons, in Halo 3, area of effect damage also is calculated by this, right? So if I step as the Scarab right here, that will destroy the building because it deals enough damage to kill this within this little sphere. And that is a problem. Listen to the Mass Effect 2 soundtrack now all of a sudden. Damn. Mass Effect alien girls are fine. Oh my god. All right. So that's a bit of an issue. Oh wait, hold on, I gotta check my phone real quick. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, so, long story short, instead of having it so that the Scarab does regular Halo AoE damage... Oh, whoa, I didn't realize I could just change this on the fly. Oh, nice. You learn something new every day. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Long story short, I can't do regular damage calculations. Maybe the antenna thing's attachments to their own physics and all that, or just separate objects. Oh, I mean, that's not a huge deal if they disappear sometimes, to be honest. 
Honestly, I want to give these things huge bounding radii, but I can't yet. What I'm going to try doing is a new system that makes it so whenever this steps, instead of doing an AoE simple damage calculation, what it's actually going to do is it's going to shoot a bullet projectile, and that bullet projectile will in fact deal proper bullet collision damage with no AoE, and also that bullet just like how the Locust works when you drive your Locust, or Skaboodly and Green's Locust, uh, it can do custom footsteps depending on the terrain that it's hitting, which is pretty fun. Large mounting radius equals worse shadow quality? Yeah, but also darker and deeper shadow quality, which is okay on big buildings. is making City Skyline and Halo 3. I'm also kind of recreating those old... Pipeworks Godzilla games, like Godzilla Save the Earth, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee, which all just have giant destructible buildings. Really satisfying. God, I love that. That's so cool. Well, that's dead, dead. Road to Stroll Monsters Melee was such a vibe back in the day. Oh, I know, dude. Scrolling through all the monsters and you just hear, like, Godzilla 2000. And you're just like, yeah, I'm gonna play as Godzilla. I'm gonna fuck shit up. All right, anyway, I'm having too much fun blowing up these buildings. This is like, you guys know those little uh, flood pods that, like, sit on the walls in, like, uh, the flood levels in Halo 3. This is like that, but way more satisfying to shoot. Yeah, the little flood pimples. This is a way better version of the flood pimples. It's just really fun, dude. I'm, I'm not even sorry. Like, this shit's just fun as hell. And also, it's really scary, like, when you're in the city street here, and, like, a scarab drives over you, and, like, the leg just comes down, and then, boom, like, the street's just filled with dirt and debris for a second as it steps over. Like, that's horrifying. This is gonna be so fun. Shotgun, when do you think PC mods will be able to be played on Xbox? I don't know if they ever will be able to. To be honest with you, I have no idea. I hope they are available to play, but yeah, I, I truly don't know. I, I wish I could give you an answer, but I'm, you know, I don't work on MCC, I just make mods. Then this kind of looks like Italy? A little, it's Africa. We're in Africa. But it, I, I can see it a little bit. These are low poly Africa buildings. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do, all right, I kind of want to take these streets and I want to actually fill this out with the new destructible buildings that I put together. And then I could do something like this, but like not just randomly placed, but with a little bit of purpose to it. I was making a joke. I had no idea this is a real place. <laughs> yeah, no, this is a uh, this is Africa in the year 2552. In fact, it's uh, it's a it's a town called Mombasa. I'll have you know. Wait, what was that? Oh, right. I want to open Blender now. We're going to make a little city. We're going to do roads and stuff. Roads and buildings and stuff and stuff. I will say this, all right, because this is going to be really important for optimization of this. Eventually, I'm not going to be doing individual single buildings. I'm going to start, because I need to fill in all of this area with buildings, what's going to happen is I'm going to start making clusters of buildings. I'm going to start merging together like four separate buildings into one big like building object and they're gonna all and it's gonna be like one object with four buildings on it and each building on that single object is gonna be separately able to be destroyed kind of like the way that you can shoot four different tires on a warthog just imagine each building as like kind of a warthog tire where you can like shoot off the rim it'll be the same concept um but obviously at a much 
larger scale. I'm late to my favorite chair warmer stream. I'm, I'm more than a chair warmer. I make the mods. The chair does not make the mods. All right? I hate it here. Everybody's so mean to me. All right, whatever. I'm going to I'm going to build I'm going to build some streets and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Okay? We're going to build some streets. Here's here's the map right now. Obviously it looks a little bit better in game. But here's the map. Bunch of buildings I can connect together. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Is there a reason the shading's all... Oh, you know what? Hold on. I gotta remove the... I bet I know what's going on. This has custom normal split data. That's why it looked weird this whole time. Remove that. Now I can successfully move this stuff around. Yeah, there we go. Now it's a seamless connection. Love to see it. Well, I don't know if I'd say seamless, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Chair warming stream? Hey, his roommate does something similar. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> Okay, well, I want if I'm going to be using a bunch of roads, they're definitely going to need to tile correctly. So I am going to scale this on the y-axis ten times, and then I'm going to UV these ten times. Scale y ten, and then these scale x ten. And then now we have appropriately scaled roads. Very nice, very, very nice. Actually still really, really small. So the main issue that I have though, to be honest, is that these roads don't have like intersections, really. I'm gonna have to get a little creative with it. I need to actually make like road intersections out of this, which I really don't even know I'm gonna do that yet, but I'm gonna give it a try. So here, let's let's try making a road intersection. The moment I make one intersection, it should be fine, but I really do have to get a bit creative with it. Um, so I'm gonna scale y 0.1 to bring it back to its original size, and scale x 0.1. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Scale y 0.1. Now we're back to our original road at one tenth of its scale. But in order to make an intersection, what I'm thinking is, let me hide the. What I'm thinking is. I'm going to use one of these as like a square and then I'm just going to connect a road from there. So like take all these points here and then I'm going to shift V down to get pretty not perfect but pretty precise. Like the halfway point there and do the same thing over here where I drag it inwards to about there. I keep dragging it up and into there. And that's not a perfect square, but it gives me a tileable section, which is nice. Does the chair get warm during mod making though? I'm just saying it might not be wrong. I mean, yes, I am warming the chair, but like, what's your point? Okay, what's your point? Just, I make the chair warm, you're welcome. Okay, it's a nice, very warm chair. Everybody likes chairs, especially when they're warm. It's more comfortable. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, actually, is do a double on the intersection like that, which should be pretty nice, because then I, that just gives me more space to work with. And then, oh, now i got to get a little creative with the texturing, but I think it shouldn't be too much of an issue. What I'm going to do, I'm going to separate these. Oh, that's why it was acting so odd. Okay, merge by distance. There we go. Oh my god, that's so much better. Now I can actually dissolve these. Dissolve edges. Or not. Alright, we're gonna split these off. Okay, I'm gonna quad, uh, tries to quads. Boom! Oh my god, that's what I should have done the whole time. I can actually go back and just do that. Need to use that more often. Okay, tries to quad. So now we've got our nice quad-based road here that we can actually work with. Put ice on my chair to keep my ass awake. <laughs> I feel like you just invented a new sentence right there. That was amazing. <laughs> it's really... 
<laughs> Halo Sim City, yeah. Except all the city is destroyable. We're gonna make our own Mombasa. Not your mom's bossa. My mom's bossa. My bossa. Your fuck you. But it's it's one of the bosses of all time. Hello, first stream. Love you, project. Well, thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Hold on, I gotta check something real quick. He's warming his chair, calm down. Yeah, true. Listen to listen to the fucking Italian ninja, okay? She's got it figured out. Alright, so oh god, this is gonna suck. I'm trying to think. I need to split this down the middle. Alright, so this will be a nice little road piece. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna split this down the middle, and I'm gonna split it down this way as well. And then I'm gonna have to UV this in such a way. For one, I'm gonna need to delete this. I'm gonna delete those. We need to UV this in such a way that it kind of curves somehow. And what I'll have to do is take this, duplicate that, bring it over here, join these two together, then take this, rotate it 90 degrees, try it my best. I'm going to put a line there so I can vertex snap them. Like so. And then... Okay, now they're aligned, so now theoretically what I can do is knife tool this to here. Well, I gotta look up something. Okay, sorry about that. I'm trying to buy something on Facebook Marketplace right now, and it's just being a, it's a little bit of a pain. All right, uh, so I gotta redo these UVs a little bit. If I want this to work correctly, hold on, let's move this. Up. 
Does it match perfectly? It's actually not a perfect match. It's kind of just halfway. This UV is not even good to begin with. What the hell? Bungie! Bungie! What the fuck, Bungie? Trying to buy a cosplayer's maid outfit. No, I'm trying to snag a couch, actually. I think this guy's trying to scam me. I think he thinks I'm, like, dumb. Whoa, Milkman! Thank you for the 10 gifted memberships. Much appreciated. Holy shit! Thank you so much. Damn, sorry, I got so distracted with something. Milkman, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. God, sorry, I'm getting so distracted. Uh, the fucking memberships keeps dr dragging me back to reality, though. Oh. Okay, I've realized something very sad. Whoa, damn! Milkman with another 10 gifted. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, dude. Thank you very, very much. Damn! Oh, you sniped Green Knight. <laughs> yes, the algorithm. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, guys. I'm, I'm, I, I got bad news here. Bungie, they, they fucked up on the roads of the new Mombasa roads. They're not, they're not very epic. New Mombasa. Dude, thank you so much, Bookman. That's crazy. Thank you, thank you. Rugged Sleeper is the 25th person to thumbs up the stream. There's no way. Unbelievable. You guys are slacking. You're letting Rugged just win. Can you, how are you, how are you allowing this? You could be the 26th, the 27th, the 1 millionth. Can we get 1 quadrillion likes? Guys, with these 20 new memberships for Milkman, can we get 20 septillion likes? Please, gamers, we can rise to the occasion. All right, this is actually the good road now. I have fixed it. Bungie's disgusting, shameful, lazy UV practices. I mean, they might as well have hired me to make the whole game. Guys, I just, I can't even believe it. Did I get $300 to immediately start on the gamer couch? I, I can't be bought. But that is a lot of money, actually. I might, I probably can be bought, to be honest with you. Skaboodly, thank you for the fiver. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Don't lie, when you print your Spartan armor, we're gonna do a Spartan made outfit. Shoot. You're so right. You're actually so right. I should, I gotta get like the, my. I gotta print like magnetic uh, clamps for the little infinite Spartan ears on top. The little cat ears. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. If I, I don't, you should not do that. But if you did, yeah, I actually would. I'm, I can be bought and sold. It's pretty sad. All right, but in the meantime, we got road. I fixed the road. 
And now I can use this, uh, how, whomstever I want to use it. I'm actually going to delete the big road, because that one just sucks. This is going to become our T-junction. And once I get this made and kind of figured out, that means um, that I can actually make some cool stuff. Rejected slave? I mean, I really hate that, but all right. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this whole thing. And we are going to connect it over to here. I think I do need to remove this side bit here. Or else it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass. So we'll delete that. We will go here. We're going to split this one down the middle here. And if I grab this, I should be able to connect it there with relative ease. Dude, it's not even... Hold on. I, I'm just realizing that I ripped this out of the map and was just kind of expecting it to be good and nice and perfect, but that's so not the case. Do scale Z0, scale Z0, scale X0, scale X0, and then we're just going to do the same thing over here. Scale Z0. Oh yeah, see it wasn't. Scale Z0, scale Z0. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Scale Z, zero. Yep, they were not at all even. I need these perfectly flat and even. Scale Y, zero. I'll actually do this. Scale Y, zero. Dude, none of this was even at all. It was like... Okay, now it is a perfect road, okay? I can rest easily now. It is actually a perfect road. By the way, all of you guys who got gifted memberships by Milkman, be sure to thank him. That's so fucking nice of him to do that. But also, come join the Discord server, because if your YouTube account is linked in your Discord profile, the bots on my Discord server, not me, actual bots, will come through and be like, hey, you have access to supporter chat now. You can come join on a game night this weekend if you want, which will be streamed. Wow. Rejected, what is your favorite game besides Halo titles? Uh, I would say like Portal 2, maybe. I have a lot of favorite games that are really great. Milkman, thanks for the five, dude! Appreciate it. <laughs> Chat. Rejected doesn't want you to know, but he has a secret cabal of sugar daddies. Were it so easy. Were it so easy. It's true. Don't tell them about it. Don't. It's a secret, Milkman. It's weird if they know about it. It's not a secret cabal anymore. A cabal's supposed to be secret. You're ruining everything! Now they're gonna know. I'm gonna get made fun of now. Wait. Hold up. Oh, my fake vape. I've been craving that for like 30 minutes. I really, really needed to just like do the little oral fixation. Why else he wears wife beaters? He's got the sugar debt. Is that a thing? You know exactly why I wear them. I have nothing to show off. I don't know why I try to pose like that. All right, um, I have fixed the road for once. Street straight. It is actually good. Let's drag this over. Now we can finally make the intersection. Now this is actually an even balanced road. I can do some that. We'll do a little bit of slicing through here. Gonna snag this, delete that. Actually, we can just separate that and then rejoin it. And just take that and move it over there. Whoa! Definitely not drug money with the $10 tip. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I Listen, I don't take drug money, which is why that is definitely not drug money. And nobody would ever put that towards this stream. Say, hey, boss said you was working on something now. He was working on something now, and he appreciates it. Anyway, here's another cut of our legally obtained earnings. Hey, no, I love legally obtained stuff. I, I appreciate that. Hey, you know, my motto is uh, stay, stay legal. <laughs> That's what I say all the time. Anyway, thank you. Thank you for definitely not drug money for that. Definitely not drug money. Appreciate you. 
Is this what the fuck is happening? Why is it like that? Did I not even did I not straighten this shit out? Bitch, what? What the fuck is going on? I, I spent all that time fixing it and you're telling me it's not fucking fixed. What the fuck is going on? Scale X zero. Oh it wasn't. None of oh my god. Jesus Christ. It wasn't even it wasn't even fixed. Jesus Christ. Yeah, whatever. Good enough now. We continue. Med is drug money, so uh, it's yeah, that's medical money. Yeah, if anyone was confused, yeah, it's definitely not drug money. Also, also, um, um, very important to say that yes, that actually, in, on the off chance that it was drug money, it's legal drug money. Okay, <laughs> let me just just clarify real quickly there. Don't want anyone getting some funny ideas. Okay. Not like that. I'm an upstanding citizen. I mean, all I'm doing is receiving the money, technically, so it's, <laughs> it's nothing to do with me. Don't get it twisted. What did I come into? Nothing? Nothing. Relax. You're freaking me out. Is that what you think? You think you can just come into my modding stream while I'm making mods? Is that what you think? What do you think you're doing here? As a game developer, I can write a ton of computer hardware and games as research purposes. <laughs> I wish. I wish. Rose cleaning that money up. Actually, is that like... Do you think... I feel like that's a good way to clean up money, wouldn't it be? Like to... To like be in cahoots with a streamer and be like, yeah, I'm just gonna we're just gonna say these are like donations, you know, it's fine. I'm just gonna dono the money to your to your like Twitch channel. You know, and then it's clean. We've cleaned up the money. It ain't no big deal, huh? You know what I'm saying? It's fine. Twitch streamers are like, yes, I love money. This is a great idea. Yes. Loves roads, me. I fucking love roads. They're the best. So I don't know why I said that so excitedly, but I yeah, they're so sick. I love roads so much, more than anything else. I'm lying. I'm just lying to you right now. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna do it this way. I think when it comes to a T-type intersection, it should not look like this. Well, actually, I could just do this. Hmm, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait just one patty flip in a second. I don't think that's gonna be the move. I don't think that's it, actually. I think, if I want to connect these two together, one, it probably will need a little bit of, uh... Oh, let me just show you. A little bit of that, but with this. Yeah, there we go. All right, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take this piece here and kind of like Lego brick connect it there and then this one as well Bring it over here Lego brick connect it there And then what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna drag this part all the way back But I'm gonna shift V so it continues to keep its like UVs correctly So we'll shift V it all the way back there and then I can just stretch it a little bit in a sec But check this out, all right? This is the big brain. We're big brain time. I'm gonna take both of these and I'm going to drag them, I'm actually going to shift V back all the way there. And then I'm going to take this, connect it there, this, connect it there, connect you to here. Come on, you just, there you go. I will need to fix the UVs, but yeah, so now I've kind of connected the roads like that. And it doesn't, actually it doesn't look that bad. Let me be so real. I thought that would look like worse, but no, it's actually pretty, it's pretty okay. There's all these edges. Don't need them anymore. I don't even think I need these actually. Um, and for the most part, that actually just connects. Although, 
I don't know, I think it's fine actually. I could just I could just do a quick little intersection like that. Nobody's gonna care. This is like old Mombasa, you know. It's it actually looks pretty good. Like it matches pretty nicely. I was thinking that might look bad and ugly, but like I really just slapped a road onto another road. Fuck it. That yeah, works. That'll get her done. Yeah, cool. I can live with that. Alright, so that'll be our intersection now. I just gotta merge all the vertices. I am gonna fix the UVs on these real fast. Because they are absolutely not correct. They got a little bit stretched here and I don't want to see that in game. It'll drive me nuts. Let's see. Oh yeah, like that. It's gotta go. Yeah, roughly there is good. Let me go to the other one over here. Well, that was easy. Yeah, there we go. Just fixed a little bit of that stretching. This one has a little bit of stretching as well, but you don't really notice it, so fuck it. I don't care. Anyway, we'll merge by distance. We can clear these sharps because we don't need them to be sharp there. And then I need to knife to here. So this is connected, but those aren't. So I need to subdivide this line. Oh no, wait, that one I want to keep. This large line. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knife to here. No, knife. Here, knife here to, knife here to, bitch, what? Hide. Knife from here to here. Thank you, thank god that was painful. Okay, theoretically, okay, yeah, I can just drag those around now. Alright, so, the solution to this problem that I'm having should be pretty easy, a little bit, just a bit of a... A little bit of that, then we merge by distance, and now I've joined those edges together. We have a perfect road, you guys. It's beautiful. Beautiful! You'd love to see it. I am the milkman. My milk is like, yeah. The milkman's milk is delicious. If, you ever, if the milkman ever comes up, he's like, hey, some gifted subs or something. You gotta, you gotta try that milk. Speaking of which, I think, I think I am gonna do milkman's couch today. That sounds fun. Kind of boring doing this work I'm doing right now, which, like, I'm enjoying it, don't get me wrong, but, like, could be better. Could be better. Alright, so, if we want this to look good and be a decent, like, city, let's turn that on. Um, I'm gonna want all of that. Maybe I should just array stack it. Let's do a little bit of array. Array. Generate. Array on the y-axis. Do y negative one. And then we'll do a count of like nine. So that makes a really nice long road. I love working on Halo stuff for Blender then I have absolutely no idea for actual mods I want to use them for. It's a bit, I have the opposite problem. I have like lots of mod ideas, but then I'm like, I don't want to go in Blender. I don't want to do that. Wait, which one is it? There were two roads? Are they the same? Good god, I have no idea. One of them could be fixed and one of them could not be fixed. This is the not fixed one. Fuck that one. You could tell based on the pixels. It had those pixels, you know what I mean? Alright, now we have actual proper roads that connect. Okay, cool. Got rid of the ugly bad ones. Street straight, and then this one is street three-way. Cool, we got a little three-way street. Got our straight street, that should be plenty. I don't think I'm gonna do a four-way street anywhere here. I think I kinda want, that makes it feel too open. At the most, maybe I'll do one. Well, Milkman Easter egg on couch, please shotgun, I've said this 21 times. Why wow, you actually have, you've been like counting up every time you've typed it. No, I like that idea. I could put a little milk, I'll grab like a little Half-Life 2 milk carton and put it on a couch. I do, I would like to do the drivable couch though. I'm, we're gonna do that today. We're doing the drivable couch. That just sounds fun. It's like the sequel to my gaming chair vehicle. All 
All right, we got our road. I'm very happy with it, to be honest. But I think nine's a bit too much. Let's do like four. And then after four, we can put this here. Let me save. We can put this here. Snap it on real quick. Nice. And then I'll duplicate this, flip it around and snap it over here. Like so. Not bad. That gives us a little street. And then I should probably make like a sh curved type street. Should I just make this all like it would be a lot easier if I kept this all grids, but it would also be more interesting if I allowed for like hills and stuff, you know? Maybe I should like do hills and curves. I don't feel like that's a bad like a bad idea actually. Let's try that. We, I'll make like a curved piece. Let's do, let's do that. We'll make like a 45 degree angle curve. So for the curve, it's got to start with a flat piece and then be like a half a flat piece. Stay grid for now. I just want to give myself options. I think the city would be a lot more interesting if it wasn't just a literal grid. Although, the one in Halo 2 was a literal grid, but it was just hidden really well. The guy who gifted the membership, thank you so much for it. Yeah, those Milkman. Yeah, these textures got those pre-Quixel unoptimized N-Gon open edge non-manifold overlap vertice Z fighting mirrored UV towel paint <laughs> textured paint weight they Dude, I'm having a stroke trying to read the hell. I need to screenshot what you just wrote so I can like memorize that and just say that oh. anytime a 3D model friend says anything to me. <laughs> They're like, hey, can you check my work? I'm like, yeah, it's nice, but your texture's got those pre Quixel unoptimized end gun open edge non manifold overlapped vertices Z fighting mirrored UV tileable texture paint weight paint type energy, you know? Dude, I feel like XQC trying to uh, read all that out. That's insane. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're so right, Frodo. You're so right. Alright, if I were to just do something simple, like try to rotate this stuff, right? Where I just like drag it like dissolve these edges, right? And then I just try to drag these into a 45 degree angle, like rotate Z 45, like so. And then try to drag it like that. It's gonna cause weird issues like that. And the shape and size is not gonna like work very well because that's just, it will never work well because it doesn't match up properly. So what I, I guess the solution is to do like a curve, right? Spin tool. Yeah, I think, is there a modifier for that? Oh no, wait, there's a thing right here, spin. I've never used it. Actually, spin. What does it say? Extrude selected vertices in a circle around the cursor in indicated viewport. I've actually never put the cursor on the corner you want to bend around. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, that's so nice. Not bad, not bad. Then I can just delete those, go back to you, delete that. That is so useful. I'm gonna use that tool for so many things, dude. I, these, I don't ever use more than like a couple of these tools, but I should use those more often, damn. Why didn't the chicken cross the road? I don't know, I don't know, ba 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 booey. 
that tool that was a spin tool yeah this is the first time i've ever used the spin tool super useful though damn dude I, like i use a couple of those tools but i've never used the spin tool in my life it turns out i've just been slacking dude what a noob i feel like right now holy All right, we'll do some unwrapping on this. It'll be worth it. All right, so for this, it'll be there. Whoops. I know this isn't the most, like, riveting thing of all time, but this is pretty important for me to be doing. Because once uh, I get an entire, like, city-type grid created, I can basically create any road system, structure, whatever. Um, and I basically get free reign to do whatever the hell I want to do in this city. Which means my destructible Mombasa can become way better than it might otherwise be able to. The uh, goal is make it awesome, make it perfect. Basically, make myself a great foundation, and then build on that foundation. And then I'm then I'm golden. Wait, actually, that was split 45, so I need to rotate this, what, 15 degrees? 15's too much. Is it 12.5 degrees? So let's see here. Drag this to about the right size. I think, is this how I want to UV it? I think I'm doing this wrong. Yeah, I think I wanted to do it like this. Okay, that sort of works. It's a decent curve, but obviously it doesn't connect quite right. Go like that, and then... I wonder if I can just give it the illusion of, like, connecting. Maybe I could do like that. Ooh, wait, that could work. Hold up. Let me cook! Let me cook! Oh, wait, I need to delete these. Um, but I think I have an idea here, right? I do... Because the problem is if I rotate it like this. Actually, I don't know if that is a problem. What I could do is like that. Oh, guys, I'm I'm cooking hard. I could do that. And then, okay, maybe this is actually a really bad idea. We'll see. We'll see. Unless, unless, this could work. Kind of looks bad though. Yeah, that looks pretty bad. Unless I really spend a lot of time on it, in which case it might actually look good. And then because they're at an angle, they have a little bit of distortion, which I just need to account for. That's not the best ever, but it's okay. And okay is fine by me. That's a 45 degree curve right there. Not flawless, but decent. 
And I'm okay with decent. And then I could theoretically just do this a second time, and then that would end up being like a pretty good 90 degree angle. Yeah, it looks good. I like it. I like it. Pretty, pretty freaking neat, dude. Pretty, pretty neat. We got a Street 45 now. And... Pretty cool, I guess. It's pretty, pretty neat. Or something, maybe. Well, 45 degree angle for the first time. Will the building respawn after being destroyed by a scarab? No, I mean, I can make them respawnable, but currently they're not. No, I don't have any plans to. Either. I can just get rid of these, to be honest. Let's save this, delete those. Uh, origin of geometry, drag this on over. See if I can't... I want to try making like a little test street again and see how things are looking. See if this is kind of the vibe I want to go for. I'll do like 145 degree angle there, which will then be preceded by this. Like so, does it fit? I think it does actually, yeah, not bad. Although I'm looking here and yeah, the UVs on that are not right. Go back real quick before that. Da, 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 da. Bring me back to here before I accidentally deleted all of its bits and bobs. Yeah, I just want to grab this and these. These were just UV'd incorrectly. I'll fix it super quick. They need to be matched to the same width roughly as this. They don't need to be perfect because nobody's really going to be keeping a close eye on them, but. Yeah, it's all right. Well, you do a little better than that. Or not. Fuck it. I don't care enough anymore. Yeah, it'll do. If I shade smooth, it won't be noticeable. Probably. Who cares? Alright, we're good. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Origin to geometry. We'll move it back over just like we did. And yeah, everything actually lines up really well. I heard there was a Halo mod in Armor 3. Yeah, I think it got renamed, but the one I used to play with was called Operation Trebuchet. I think there's like a sequel successor mod to that now, which I forget the name of, but I, I know there's it's got a different name. Um, and I think it's like literally Operation Trebuchet, the good Halo mod, but like with enhancements and stuff. Not really sure on all the details myself, to be honest. Okay, hold on. This UV, as it turns out, is a little bit off. How is that? Actually, it looks like I need to warp it a little. Get it to fit right. Looks like this one needs to be warped a little to fit right as well. There we go. Well, almost. Nice. Okay, so here's our little test street, right? It goes like a little curve to go out of sight. I can place buildings all throughout here. Um, then I can try doing this, right? Drag this to here. I think I'll do another curve here on the test street, like so. This kind of makes it a little bit more symmetrical than I'd like, to be totally real, but... It just do be like that sometimes. Alright, here's a nice symmetrical test street. We could, we could work with that. 
actually have a 3D printed scarab, but it's still a work in progress. That's dope. There was this, um, like, two foot long Halo 3 scarab model that was released as a part of, like, some... I don't even know what it was for, actually. It was related to a tabletop game, and it was this giant scarab that you could buy, and it was so fucking cool, and I loved it, and I wanted it so badly. Hold on, let's, uh, let's put this in game real quick. So Halo 3, War of Mombasa, do not export hidden geometry. Okay, let's do Halo 3. Open up our command prompt. Data, levels, custom. We're finally going back in game, guys. I know, it's been a blender stream for so long, but we're finally coming back. You there. Tool, structure, or of mombasa.ass. There's our streets! Nice! Love to see it. All right, let's delete all these buildings and then move the scarab and then this, oh, this is gonna be fun. All right, let's have some fun with this. I'm gonna leave that giant city there. I kind of like just stomping on it when I'm bored. All right, so first things first, I'll place a couple of these houses. I think these are nice. I wish it didn't make fucking boom, 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 windows noises all the time, but you know, it'd just be like that, I guess. Oh, you know what, actually, because we have, like, uh, dirt, tiled dirt ground, I'm... I'm gonna quickly add a, a floor, like a proper... proper ground plate type floor. Yeah, I think, I think it's kinda... kinda, kinda needed. What in the what? Oh, right, because the, yeah, apply all modifiers. Right, 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 right. Whatever. Okay, I think you got gifted. You sure did. You sure did. Milkman came through and gifted like for everybody. So shout out Milkman. That was fucking dope. Hope Milkman sticks around. Or else next stream is going to come in and see the fucking uh, couch and just be like, oh my fuck. I missed it. God damn it. Actually, why do these exist? These don't, I just don't do anything. Okay. Is that an end gone? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, that is an end gone. They do need to be there. But then this becomes an end gone. I guess it doesn't become an end gone because they're not technically connected, so it's fine. I'll just connect them later. All right. Uh, that should be fine. And then, no, it shouldn't be fine, actually. Ah, my Amazon. My Amazon Echo. Ah. It's probably smart for me to put lines through all the roads so that they can have more complex geometry in the future. And then we merge by distance. And now the vertices are happy, and now I can easily fill in these large areas. <sighs> you know, the Covenant box, Drake. Uh, I think that's too much lore potential. Like, I just, you know, I don't know if people in this stream will be able to handle such powerful lore, to be honest with you. Like, it's just, it's a lot. You know, I'm not sure they'll be able to take it. Uh, you know, I'm considering it, but it's just like, it's just such deep lore. Can they handle that? I don't know. To be honest, I really don't know. 
Part of me wants to believe they can. You know, I want to see the best in people, but it's a lot. It's a lot. Alright, we have this, it becomes this material and it'll look good, it'll look very good. True, it's almost as deep lore as Coke and Fry Halo, true. I mean, the Covenant box would be a lot less deep lore if, you know, I modded Reach. But hey, who does that? Who mods Reach? That's crazy talk. All right, there we go. We got our cool little sidewalk. I want that as a test anyway, so, yeah, there we go. This is going to be like a base layout. It's not, the, the entire city is not going to look exactly like this, but this is going to give a sense of what it's going to look like, and this will be a good test bed for me to be, um, to be placing buildings and getting a feel for all this. Yeah, there we go. Now we have, like, actual ground. Old Mombasa, proper ground. I don't know why it sounds like gravel, but it does. Alright, let's get these buildings placed in. Oh right, they're gonna be like pitch black on certain angles until I bake lighting. I think I can bake lighting while the map is open, right? Surely. Surely. Probably, right guys? <laughs> this is probably fine. Do low lighting. Do the structure, levels, custom, da 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 da. Important light. See, you know, it'll it'll do its thing. And I'll save. Oh my God, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I can't. I can't bake lighting and work on it at the same time, dude. Oh, I literally crashed it. All right, we'll just wait for like two minutes while it bakes lighting, and then we'll put down our cool buildings. Forging, yeah, Forging Campaign is actually one of my favorite mods to do. Um, I did not play the ones that are on the workshop, but one of the first mods I ever did as soon as Halo 3 came out was to do uh, Forge in Halo 3's campaign, because, like, I used to watch Game Cheat's old videos of him doing Forging Campaign, and it was an absolute blast. It was really just... It was really cool to see. So one of the very first things I did... I never did... I, I shouldn't say this. I never made a proper Forging Campaign mod with, like, all the scripts and stuff, but I would, like take the maps, like the campaign maps, and I would port them into uh, multiplayer maps, which was pretty fun. What happened to Game Sheet? Um, I don't know. I think he just went like crazy right wing political on Twitter for like the whole world to see. But like, but like, I didn't see it myself, but I heard it was like pretty extreme. To the point where, like, he was saying some, like... It was not just like, oh, he's at a controversial political take. It was, like, pretty fucked up from what I heard. And, yeah, you know, if if any, if Twitter and the internet has taught you anything... One, you probably shouldn't just be, like, a crazy wild political type in the first place. Nobody really wants that. Um, but two, if you are going to be like that, definitely don't do it on Twitter. <laughs> For sure. That's probably, like, the last place you should do it. So yeah, you know, he just, I think he just got canceled is my understanding. And he just kind of took it and was like, I'm out. Which, you know, respect. I'm sure he's going to go live his own life and do his own thing. Hopefully not with crazy political stuff. I looked him up. It was really bad. Yeah, I don't, I'm going to be honest. I don't really know much about it, nor do I, I don't really care much either. It's like. I don't know, I just hate politics, man. I get it, it's important, it's the foundation of our society, etc. But, like, dude, if people are so annoying about politics. They're so annoying about it. I know, it's important. I'm very aware. I just don't care. I, I look at it straight in the face, I see how important and vital it is to society, and I still don't care, and I still will not engage with it. I'm not... Do I'm not not engaging with it out of ignorance. I'm in not engaging with it while fully acknowledging and understanding its importance and vitality to our society. 
I am still choosing to say fuck off to it. I think people who say no to it out of ignorance are dumb, but so long as you are aware. You're making a lot of purrs into my microphone, Luna. You're purring like crazy. Politics, how tiresome, yeah. We live in a society, we sure do. We sure do. I, we, we live in a big old big society. Oh, oh, please tell me it's, oh, it's fucking done. Let's go, dude. All right, let's reopen the map. Kitty cat, you are being obnoxious in my lap. Ah. Do you know, Arbiter? <coughs> Arbiter, the elites have threatened to resign leave the council like Jeremy's I'm very aware of the environment and I'm still not interested in it yeah exactly exactly I just I don't care for it I would rather be as far away from anything government related as possible I'll pay my taxes and whatever else I'm legally obligated to do as a citizen and that's it everything else get it away from me don't care goodbye Oh, there we go. The lighting is so much better now. And now I only have uh, I only have these two buildings for now, but I will be adding. I want to have at least like ten buildings ideally, and then each of these have alleyways, and I want to put small objects between the alleyways to like fill in the space. I think that would be kind of nice. But yeah, uh, it, it should should end up looking pretty decent. Cut right, I could go like this, and then suddenly you have like a pathway to walk between buildings. But then there could be like a closed off alleyway thing here. So there's like another one of these buildings right behind it. Like so. You dig? Something like that. And then across the street here, you'll have like this. A big flat building like that. Look, trust me guys, this is going to be well worth it once you see the big scrab. Building like one here. Dude, I swear to God, if this program ever gets an update so that Windows stops fucking spamming noises, I will be the happiest person on planet Earth. I, I truly, I will. It's obnoxious. It makes me want to explode violently. Alright, I'm going to spam down a, a couple more buildings here. Just to fill in the space and all that. Wow, so fun. Love that sound. I'm right, building one. But you can kind of see the variety in which, even though with just two buildings, I can finally verify in your server. Let's go. Hey, let's go. I think. This is where a third building would come in handy right here. A little 45 degree angle of this building right here. I think I'm gonna try adding my own custom detailing onto these buildings because right now the front looks really good. This is really boring. This is really boring. It basically only the front looks good, and these two sides are decent, and then this side is just sad and empty. But this is kind of the vibe I'm trying to go for, right? Even though this is a very simplified version, this kind of vibe of like dense building streets like this, 
you know, let me let me fill in this area here so it kind of gets that feeling in its entirety. I kind of want to add um kind of want to add a scarab AI that kind of just floats around here. I think that'd be kind of nice. Be nice to have. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of nice. I can merge these together. It's not too bad. Put another building. Like I thought, this could be like an extra large. You know, this is the large fry version of the building. It's pretty cool. Yeah, there you go. You get a you get a little taste here. You get a little taste of what this could be like if I spent all the time to fill this all out. Be something like this, maybe. You know? Alright, it's pretty cool, I guess. Now what I really want to do, though, is I want to see a scarab just, like, start stomping around over the top of me. Because even though I know that there's, like, nothing beyond these initial buildings that I've placed down here, if I had a dense city to this scale, it would be pretty amazing. Add some hills, etc. Oh, yeah. To, to fly, you should add some elevation. 100%. 100%. I will be adding elevation. And then I can probably overlay my, my like, ground structure here onto that, which shouldn't be much trouble at all. But, first, now, I want to uh, spawn in my scarab, which is over here. Which, by the way, this, this street feels kind of big, but, dude, the scarab will step over it in a heartbeat. Like, I'll place the scarab right there, right? Bro, that's so scary. It's huge. This gives the scarab such a sense of scale that it oftentimes lacks. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, genuinely. Genuinely, let me just, like... Slap some palm trees down real quick. You're actually very right. This this needs some palm trees. Let's let's do a little simulation here. You know they're tough. They ain't invincible. Okay, the destruction is still having a little bit of issues in the sense that the, the toes destroy way more than they're supposed to still, which I need to fix. It has like a massive AoE radius, which it's not supposed to have, so it's blowing up like all the buildings right now. But if it was doing less of that, it would be a little bit nicer. and We wouldn't have every single building blowing up. It would be more precision, more precision destruction with its footsteps. Be cool if an occasional pelican that would come try to harass it and then dip. Yeah, I, I would actually... What I could do is have, like, an AI squad that is, like, on a timer that spawns in pelicans. And then have, like, the scarab able to destroy it. And obviously, if it's a pelican like the one on, like, huge grass, right? It'll actually blow up and kill the AI and crash into a building and probably blow up that building. Like, see, that footstep right there should not have destroyed any buildings. That should not have destroyed any buildings, but it did, because it's all- it's using bounding radius, like, crap. Instead, what I need to do is, for each footstep, instead of spawning a damage effect, it needs to spawn a projectile that shoots straight down from, like, the toe, and then if that hits something, then it should destroy it. Thinking Scarab only, or other covenants scattered in the city? I mean... I'm thinking just Scarab. Like, the whole point was a player would drive the Scarab, or there would be a single-player version with an AI Scarab. Which would be kind of nice. It's actually crazy to me, like, how decent this already looks, even with just two buildings. Like, this is... 
two types of buildings that were very quick and dirty and definitely need some touch-ups, but it already looks like pretty decent. You know, I'm a, I'm kind of surprised, genuinely. I, I'm I thought this would not look as good as it does at this point. And this is me saying that while acknowledging once again, yes, a lot more work needs to be done on this mod, but it's oh it's okay. You know, is there a way to have a damage effect on the legs in case they collide with the building? Yes, there is. The problem that there is a problem though. This is let me show you the problem. Wait. Is it tied to physics? If it's physics or collision, could it be? I need to do an experiment. Okay, I don't have any grenades. I need to give myself some grenades. Hold on. Uh, structure. Game data. Player starting profile. Let me give myself some grenades. Okay, there we go. So this is what the pro problem seems to be, right? If I take this... And I expand this radius to be really big, right? All that does is, it, what it's supposed to be doing is going, hey, this is how far away you can see stuff. But now if I throw a grenade... Okay, that one was actually close enough to do damage. But if I throw a grenade like there... What? It's not doing it. Could it be that I have been misunderstanding? Mayhaps misunderestimating? Scarab damage effect should be like 0 0.1 world units. Now fuck that, 0 0.01 world units. No, I know this is a thing. I actually know this is a thing, but it might be something that I can fix. Add BBC, please. My girl loves it. Bro, what are you... St stop. Stop it. <laughs> I bet it was the shake radius fucking it up this whole time. Alright, let's see. Do I destroy everything in one step? Sent you a personal DM? Oh? I need to do this test again. Let's see. Ah! 
That destroyed all three buildings, bitch. How? How did that happen? What? Is destruction casting AO it's casting a large AoE damage, but I'm trying to figure out what value here is causing that to happen. destroy all three of them it doesn't make sense that destroyed all three that's insane oh we're getting raided by some weird bots goodbye 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 Yeah, it's a good question, actually. Is the destruction casting AoE damage? I don't think so. It definitely shouldn't be, and... I could check, though. I don't think so. The only parts are a sound... There is the screen shake damage effect, but it shouldn't deal any damage, to be fair. Hmm... It has a spike radius. Maybe I'll reduce that. An AI stun radius could be zero. AI stun bounds. I'll just set all that to zero. Hope that doesn't break it. Hold on, let me see. It is set to no 50 world units because it's supposed to shake stuff. Let me see if uh, the shake still works after doing that. Okay, shake still works just fine. No, it's not gonna be this casting anything. Mm, it's probably fine. I think what it does need to come down to is just somehow fixing the Scarab step damage. I could try swapping it out for like a completely different damage effect, I suppose. Hi, hello, you are under investigation for violation of the law. Well, I'm glad that the law uh, comes into my chat as a series of suspicious YouTube uh, accounts. That seems like something the real law would absolutely do. And considering I have done nothing to break the law, you can suck my nuts. Goodbye. Alright. Next up, we're going to swap this damage out. What's up with the boss? I have no idea. It's probably some scammer come up with this is some new legendary scam scheme that will totally work. You didn't take the illegal drug money, so you're fine. You're absolutely right. I'm safe. They can't get me for that one. I don't think that one was a bot. Oh, shoot. Was that somebody pretending to be a bot? <laughs> okay, I'll undo Cass. My bad, Cass. I don't know. <laughs> Probably should not disguise yourself as a bot, to be fair. I unhid you, Cass. I think I did. I may actually have recognized it. Recognized your name. I have unhid you from the channel. <laughs> Guys, if there's a bunch of bots coming in, maybe don't repeat what the bots are saying. <laughs> like, just throwing that one out there. Maybe don't do that. And same with Waka. You're cooked. I'm a, uh, you a criminal. Criminally beautiful. <laughs> These bots. I don't think that's a bot, but they are spamming, so I will I will 
Waka, listen, if you don't calm down, I'm gonna, I'm gonna silence you, all right? You're spamming the chat now. It's not very cool and epic of you, I'm gonna be honest. Could be better. <laughs> all right, my bad. <laughs> yeah, it'll just be like that. Uh, frag grenade equipment explosion? Frag grenade, okay, we're gonna take a regular frag grenade explosion. Actually, what happens if I throw a frag grenade, like, in the city? What does that do? Somehow blew up that and that, but not that. Bitch, what? Maybe you stop what? Dude, if you're gonna say crazy, nasty shit like that, you're getting removed from the channel. Goodbye. I just didn't think that was funny. I thought that was fucking gross, so don't do that. Goodbye. I don't know, dude. Some random Discord of, like, teenagers is here. Is that a Halo 1 grenade? <laughs> yeah. Literal nukes going off. Bro, that destroyed the entire city block. That's ridiculous. It's gotta be something related to their bounding ratings. Like, it has to be that. It has to be that. There's no way it's not. Because I, I would bet you money that if I threw, like... Let's get a weapon that has, like, a very tiny AoE, like a Brute Shot. Like, that has AoE, but it's not overwhelming. Closer. <laughs> the weakest brute shot. Yeah, I think the problem isn't anything to do with the Scarab damage. The problem is the buildings themselves. They're the issue. Although I will say, uh, I'm kind of getting like Fallout vibes from this destroyed city street all of a sudden. I do feel a little bit like I'm in the wasteland. Which, am I biased because I've been thinking about Fallout because of the show? Yes, but also kind of wastelandy vibes. Piss filter? This this does have the piss filter, I won't lie. This map absolutely has the classic Call of Duty piss filter. And you know what? I don't know. I don't know why I got all aggressive with that. It's just a fact. It definitely has it. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> I love piss. That's so cool. That's badass, thank you for sharing. <laughs> um, no, nah, in order to fix this, let me look at the blend file real quick. Actually, one thing that might be a major issue, let's see, let's do debug objects. Oh, actually the object debug is fine, that's weird. What is that blue sphere? What is that blue sphere? What am I looking at there? That's not its bounding radius. I know it's not. That's it, but what is it? Whatever that is, I need to fix it, because that seems to be uh, causing some trouble. Oh, it's literally just the bounding radius. But I thought I was... It's Oh, it's just been off-center, but I can't adjust the center of it. Okay.
Rejected shotgun. Could you spawn the scale up gun, please? Uh, which one? Halo 2 style or Halo 3 style? No, I think this is definitely related to the bounding radius. Now that I, actually, I can actually see the proper bounding radius, now I know. I did fuck up on the uh, directions of certain bounding radius uh, values. Theoretically, this will make this end up, the whole Scarab thing should be a lot better. Let's try it. Let's see if it works. Oh, there's another teenager in the chat. Gross. Precision. Oh, I think I did it. I actually think it's working now. Yes, it has way more precision now. This is sick. And yeah, I could add a permanent like damage thing to the leg so that when they impact a building it explodes. Yes! Oh, we actually nailed the precision. That's awesome. Dude, this is so sick! It's actually working correctly. Remember kids being edgy, uh, to be edgy isn't funny? Well, it's funny to them, like, right, they're in a, they're probably in, like, a Discord call or something, and they're all making each other laugh, because, like, they're too young to actually feel like any of the stuff that they're saying means anything yet, like, they don't exist in the real adult world, so they don't get, like, how gross what they're saying actually is. They don't, they don't understand yet that, like, what they're saying actually means something to them, it's just words that makes their friends laugh. But when they become adults later, they'll have to like look back and be like, oh god, we really said some fucked up shit. Ugh. Like, I get that. I used to be real edgy. That's fine though. They're just having fun. I mean, they're having fun in a really gross, disgusting way, but they're not going to realize it for years yet anyway, so there's no hope of trying to like get through into their heads. They'll figure it out one day. They understand what it means, they just don't, they just, no, they don't, they don't feel it yet. They don't, like, feel the implications of what they're saying. They're, they don't have to deal with real people yet. Once they turn over 18 and the shit that they say actually has, like, legal basis for it happening and, and having an impact, they'll, they'll feel it. It's the anonymity of the internet and being a teenager. It does crazy things to you, dude. Bro, stop yapping, dude. You're just uncomfortable that you're being seen and called out for what you are. <laughs> that's the that's the honest truth. That you're just uncomfortable now because <laughs> I'm actually just spitting and, and you have to deal with that. It's awkward. It's not a good. It's not a fun position to be in. I don't. I don't envy that. That's that's a terrible thing. The last thing you want is someone to kill your fun and see you for what you are. That sucks. That's that's ass. Nobody wants that shit. Dude, this is so much better. The precision of the legs just feels better. It means less destruction overall, which is good. I don't want the Scarab to just be, like, obliterating everything all around here. Um, but it also... It, it makes the destruction feel meaningful. It makes it feel very, very meaningful, which I, I think... Overall makes this entire, like, sequence of the Scarab destroying stuff feel better and cooler. So, less destruction, actually, better. Oh, that's so fucking cool, dude. I, I cannot wait 
to fill out a city just like absolutely full of these buildings. It's gonna be so sick. Oh, this is gonna be badass, dude. I'm so excited. These are just generic buildings for now. Yeah, there's actually only two buildings in the mod right now. It's the first test building I did, which is this one, and then this other one here. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up with like around 10 different buildings, and then uh, once I have like 10 of them, I'm gonna like polish them all up, add some more detail, and get them looking better. And then obviously do like a nice, more detailed, destroyed version. These are really like the low quality test building. Test buildings. As a fan, it eats me up inside. Yeah, I'm sorry, Cringe Police. The haunting uh, did end. It ended after like that first season there. And then we, I tried like a reboot of the first episode and it was it just didn't get a very big um, welcoming return. So unfortunately, it just will not continue. I apologize for that. But now I'm doing other stuff. I got more content. Halo stuff. I've seen your legs are going through the buildings quite a bit. Well, I actually, I don't think that's too nitpicky, to be honest. I actually agree uh, that it doesn't look very good. So uh, somebody did have a good point, which was that, like, maybe around here I could just have, like, a permanent damage sphere constantly playing, which um, would be nice. It would make it so that anytime you know, this big thing swings around and hits something, it destroys it. But also, I don't want to put it, like, in the toe, because sometimes the toe should be able to, like, you know, clip through a building a little bit. That way it's not absolutely wrecking everything. But, like, if this large upper area clips through a building, yeah, it should definitely destroy stuff. Is the collision foobar? No, the collision's actually pretty good. The collision's actually pretty good. I actually managed to get the collision a lot more precise. Like, seeing this from the ground is very, very scary. I- <laughs> dude! I just wanna, like, bake this into a map and then get somebody in multiplayer to just drive this thing around with, like, a thousand buildings because, like, the feeling of being on the ground in this city as the Scarab goes over is going to be crazy. Explosion sound seems a tiny bit delayed after impact? I don't think so. They seem pretty on point. I haven't noticed any delay. Oh, no, and now that you mention it, it does seem like maybe slightly delayed. I think it's just because the Scarab is so big and the camera is so far away that it, Halo actually does calculate, like, sound propagation distances. Um, so... I can just make it play instantly, so it might be a little better. So the buildings are destroyed by damage and not collision. Yeah, the actual collision itself is just being, like, emulated through damage states of, like, impact. So every time the toe hits the ground, it's actually dealing damage, and that's what's killing the buildings. It's, it's draining their health instantly. Uh, wait, when it, when it instantly, won't it destroy everyone's ears? No, 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 no. Um, instant just means, like, the delay on it. Like, it, it's still, you can only hear it from a certain distance away. Like, I, it, it gets quieter the further away it is. Like, I gifted a membership, it's badass, hell yeah. You can thank Milkman, he gifted 20 memberships today, which is awesome. Oh, yeah, this feels pretty good. This feels pretty good. I'm glad we got, like, a road system that I can now propagate through the entire map. Only sad part is that I can't instantly generate it. Very sad. Very, very sad. But now I can densely place all these buildings, which is sick. I don't know how many buildings I'm allowed to get away with, but I hope it's a lot. Also, I want to make this feel like a really, the city feel like really alive. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is putting like a bunch of flocks of like banshees and hornets and pelicans in the air here. And 
try to get some nice, like, city atmosphere. I think what I want to do is grab the Halo 2, like, background ambience noises from... from outskirts. I don't know if you guys know, like, if you remember the sound, but if you played Halo 2, you will absolutely know exactly what sound I'm talking about. Hold on, let me, let me open it up real quick. I want to grab this from Halo 2. I don't care that the sound is a little crunchy. What about civilians fleeing? I don't think I'm going to put actual AI down. What I want to do is I'll, I want the budget for the buildings to be as high as physically possible. I want to be able to fit as many buildings as physically possible. The main priority on this map is destructible buildings. I love that sound from turf. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. That's what I want to have as the ambience on this map here. I think it would be perfect. It would be so, so cool. Like that. Plus walking around in the city with like this atmosphere and stuff, you know. You get peaks of... Uh... You shouldn't really be able to see too much in the city because there's just going to be buildings like literally everywhere. But you know, you can get peaks at like the destroyed space elevator and stuff. Although I suppose it really should be an intact space elevator. Actually, that is an intact space elevator, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. It just clips through the uh, clouds. But yeah, this is the city before it's destroyed. I need to change the sound. This gravel sound is not proper. I think it's just... Is that... Is that what it sounds like when you walk on concrete? It should be like stone. Like I'll have to change that. I think it's just the collision sound. Um, one second, I'm going to use the restroom very, very quickly. Uh, while I'm loading up the Halo 2 map in the background for some reference, I will... I'll be right back. I've returned to ruin your chair content. So sorry. All right, here's our Halo 2. Halo 2 content. Let's uh let's spawn our guy and get rid of all this annoying debug stuff. This sound. Listen carefully to this. Let me let me mute my music. Hold on. Let's move out into the open here. Like, you know this sound. If you played Halo 2, you know this sound well. You could just hear, like, people around, bugs, the sound of distant gunshots, things flying by. Yeah, civilians, marines, distant explosions. And so I want to have, like, I want to have things flying by overhead. I want the city to feel like it's actively in a war zone, right? So I want to see if I can't get some effects like those in the sky popping off constantly. As well as, I'm obviously going to add flocks, you know, we're going to have, like, little banshee fights going on in the sky. There's a little boy in the background saying, where's my mom? What? Is that You're lying. There's no way that's true. I've never in my life heard that. Oh, I think I just heard it, actually. What the fuck?
I swear I just heard it like as I said it didn't exist. I can hear a civilian, like, screaming. It sounds like a kid or a woman. I heard it. That's creepy. Wow, that's so creepy. I actually heard it. What in the fuck? I hate that. Thank you so much for pointing out something that I will never be able to unhear on this level or any level that uses that ambience. That's really horrifying. Nice. <laughs> well, fuck, dude. That's so creepy. God damn that. All right, let's open up this scenario here. I've played a disgusting amount of Halo 2 and never heard that. To be fair, it's like really subtle. And it could be... Uh, it, it's There's no guarantee it is saying, where's my mom? But I won't lie. Like, it very much does sound like that. It's one of those things where it, somebody could just be, it's like kind of muffled and you could kind of hear different words out of it, but it does sound like, where's my mom? That's, yeah, that's a good Twitter post right there. Did you know, if you listen carefully on Halo 2's outskirts, in the ambience, if there's enough quietness, you can hear a small child screaming out, where's my mom? This is just many, one of many creepy details on outskirts where you can really feel the plight of humanity against the horror of the covenant. Yeah, I should definitely post that. Yeah, I heard it again. That's creepy. Vine boom. Did I need a, I need a stream deck so I can just vine boom whenever I want. If you stand long enough in the dark alleyways of outskirts in Halo 2, the child will walk up to you. This location, if you walk to the left side where most players don't dare venture, you'll find a secret alleyway where a small dark child's figure will actually come out and try to play with you. But if you get too close to it, you'll die instantly. In the game's files, it's called Your Mom. I think I know what I'm doing for April Fool's next year. <laughs> if the kid walks up to you, you unlock recon armor in Halo 3 instantly. Where's my mom? Where is your mom? You're so right. You're so right. Wait, I was doing something. Oh, right. I wanted to do the, the sound stuff. Cluster palettes. Background sound. We have... Old Mombasa. That's quiet. Tunnel? Wait, let's see. What do we have here? Cluster points. Background sound. Yeah, what's this area got? What are, where are we here? We have Old Mombasa here. And the sound environment. I guess the sound environment doesn't fucking matter, but this, the background sound is Old and Mombasa, which is literally just this background sound. Which is a sound looping called Old Mombasa Quiet. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go deep into this so we can port it into Halo Three. It's a background sound file called Old Mombasa Quiet. Ambience, Earth City, Old Mombasa Quiet sound looping, which is comprised of a lot of detail sounds. Actually, quite a few detail sounds, and. What, I think this is it. Hold on. I think whacked vocals is the sound of, where's my mom? I think I've actually found it. Got some filters. Interesting. I don't want to have to deal with any of this, but I think I'm going to have to end up dealing with it. 
Can I play this sound? Whacked vocals one. Dude, these sounds are really creepy. Yeah, I hate this. <laughs> it's so crunchy. That's so creepy, dude. Why is that so creepy? Those are Halo 3 ODST background voices from the terminals, I think. Ah, uh, that'd be interesting. Rejected. Give the scarab Goku's hair. I will not stop asking until it's done. What? What if I want you to stop asking? What if you're scaring me? What if I'm scared right now? I'm scared? Wait, can I? Wait, shit! I don't remember how to rip sounds from Halo 2! I completely forgot! Fuck! Wait. Don't I just use... Reclaimer? I think I just use Reclaimer to rip sounds. Look at whisper.sound down at the bottom. Is there whisper? I think I'm at whisper. Whisper.sound. Cinematic dialogue. Sir Cortana. It's Marty! That's just Marty whispering into a microphone. Sir Cortana. What is it? Why he said Sir Cortana? That's literally just Marty whispering into the microphone. It's Marty O'Donnell. <laughs> yeah, I can recognize his voice. That's definitely him. Sir Cortana. Earth City Whisper dot sound. That's so strange. But yeah, that's Marty. Wait, Swahili speech? Sijalie magari yenu kuwa ni shabaha ya kushambuliwa na maadui. Ziacheni njia. Well, that's cool. That's the the I never really like paid attention to the voice that was speaking, but I always just kind of assumed it was in English. I don't know, I never like paid close attention to it. It's like the sound like on the beach and stuff. I will say this though, this weird whisper sound in the files here of Marty just whispering is of way higher quality than like all the other sound effects. Like listen to whacked vocals, listen to how crunchy they are. Like, and then listen to Marty's whisper. Sir Cortana. Bro, that shit is like HD. And then you listen to this shit Bro, somebody crunched that shit down. I wonder if it's used in the game anywhere. I would be surprised if it was. Some stuff is just in the files for the editing kit, and that might just be one of them. I don't know, though. It could be. There's, there's no reason to say that it's not. What is it? Air tank hits? What is this? <laughs> that was... So loud, holy shit. <laughs> I thought it meant like a scorpion tank, not like a fucking propane tank. Oh my god. All right, well, I gotta be careful playing these sounds for fear of them destroying my eardrums. No, instead we can we can just move on. I, I need to grab all these special sounds from the old Mombasa quiet sound looping. The first one is just whatever this loop sound is, old Mombasa quiet. Uh, here. It's just windy ambience. Yeah, it is what it is. It's nothing special. I'm just going to grab that. 
which there are six of those, and um, I'll just try to extract these with a reclaimer. Give me one second. Um, I'll see if I can't extract these, because I really want these sounds. I don't know about you guys, but like, it's not the most important thing ever, right, to have these sounds. They're not even very high quality sounds, to be honest. But they provide, uh, for those people who know, a sense of nostalgia. And for those who don't know, a sense of, like, being in an active war zone. Which, from this mod, is pretty, pretty critical. Alright, so let's open up Old Mombasa. I have no idea if I'm actually going to be able to extract sounds. I should have the plugin in Reclaimer to extract sounds, but I might have to go to the old one. We'll go sound... Let's search um, old Mombasa sound. Okay, here we go. Old Mombasa quiets. Front speakers loop. Extract. Sure, we'll put it there. Extracted zero tags in zero seconds with zero errors. Wow. That's not helpful at all. Let's do Reclaimer Old. I think this has the sound extraction on it. Oops. There's an update available. No, thank you. Adjutant Maps to Old Mombasa. All right, let's grab Old Mombasa. I think this one should have the plugin for extracting sounds from Halo 2. I might be wrong, but it should. Extracting, extracted one tag in three seconds of zero errors. But the real question is, did it just extract the sound tag or did it extract it as a proper audio file? Extracted sound, yeah, that's not doing anything. I, how, that, dude. I don't remember how the hell to extract stuff from Halo 2 anymore. I used to do it all the time. That's how I grabbed a bunch of sounds. I, I always managed to like extract sounds from Halo 2, be satisfied, and then within a week, I forgot how I did it. I, have, I shit you not, I've done this like three times. I have so many Halo 2 sounds in my mods. I've extracted them on so many individual cases, but I genuinely have no idea how I do it. Just an R. Just an R. Uh, I guess I have no choice but to step on all these buildings. That's so scary, man. Will you add other things like parks and highways and maybe rivers? Yeah, I'm not just going to do this. Um, I'm going to have elevation, like the roads are going to move up and over stuff. And I'm going to add some highways as well. I don't know if I'm going to... I think I'm going to have to make the highways destructible as well. Which is going to be interesting. Yeah, actually, I'm going to make the highways fully destructible as well. And then... Uh, should be fine. I think it'll look pretty cool. A parking garage too? Maybe. I don't want to add too many big types of buildings because I'll have to get creative with the destruction. And I don't want to spend too, too much time on it. Especially considering I can only really do... Nah, I'm going to revamp the Scarab's stepping damage anyway. Destroyable trees and lights? Yeah, theoretically I can do all those things, but I have to be really careful about how I optimize it because here let me let me delete all these buildings over here real quick. And these like this is how many crates do I have here? Just these buildings here is fifteen objects. I can really only get away with like two hundred. And I could probably fill this out in about two hundred objects, especially when I start like collapsing some of these buildings. 
into each other, right? So like, I could have these five buildings right here all be one single object, um, but with five different damage states, right? So I, doing stuff like that's gonna save me a lot of space and time, but we'll see how that ends up working out. I would prefer to have each building be its own thing, but hey, who knows? Am I gonna add a higher elevation residence or is the city? No, the city's not gonna be flat. I am going to add some I mean, it will be very flat overall, but it's not only going to be flat. You will be going, like, up hills and down. It would be kind of cool to add maybe, like, a beach or something. That could be kind of cool with, like, a seawall. Kind of add, like, a Hotel Zanzibar type area. But I don't want to go too crazy with it. I was just hoping to make this, like, relatively simple. But depending on what happens, we'll see. You need the program FUBAR 2000? Oh, yeah, Halo 2 doesn't use FMODs, though, unfortunately. Uh, I forget how to do it, but it would be nice to have it. Uh, perhaps I can use some other background sound. Does Halo 2 have any, like... No, Halo 3 doesn't really have any fighting city-type things, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, I totally forgot how I extracted sounds from Halo 2. I genuinely don't know. It would be nice to know, but... Uh, there is a chance, though. Hold on. Somebody might have already done all the work for me. Let's see. Halo 2 sounds, ambience. Hold on, I think it's all done for me. I might be good. Ladies and gentlemen. Good news! All the work was done for me. The lovely Halo archive has every single sound already extracted. God bless America. Here is the front speaker sound. I don't know why they're in here three times, but every sound is, in fact, in here three times. Let's listen to this one. Now let's listen to the rear speakers. Do I need both rear and front? Probably not. But yeah, Halo Archive. It's my dudes right there. Actually real as fuck for this. Alright, so... Um, yeah, I'm gonna download all these real quick. Don't wanna accidentally, like, uh, leak some secret Google Drive stuff or something. I have no idea if my, like, personal information is all up in here, but I sure hope it's not. All right, so I'm going to extract all of the old Mombasa stuff, download those. And then there's the detail sounds, which I'm sure you guys are familiar with, like, this sound. Here. There's the old, distant explosions and stuff. Oh my god, there's so many things in here. Right, give me like two seconds, you guys. I have to download a lot of stuff, but I have to like select them individually. Because everything got uploaded like triple for some reason into the drive, which... You know, it's alright. Five, six, seven, eight, and that's everything. Okay, cool. I now have all of the ambient sounds for my map. It's gonna sound so good! Ugh! Or not, I have no idea. I don't really care. Hi, RS. Oh, it's Lucifer! Sorry it took me a minute to see, though. Hi, Lucifer. How you doing? Would ODST... You know, maybe? ODST might have some good ambience, actually. Maybe better ambience. Shit. I probably should have checked that. Let's open up ODST and see if it has any good ambience. What's uh, what's the mission Buck has? Buck's mission... Because Mombasa streets at night's not going to be it, but like Buck's mission takes place like during the day. No, what's Tayari Plaza? Tayari Plaza is the one with like the scorpion and you're in the city streets and da, 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 da. I feel like the Halo 2 sounds might be better, but they are really crunchy. Very crunchy. Let me see. Halo C3. Whatever one Tayari Plaza is, we'll probably have like some really good... SC100. Okay, let's open this. I'll take a take a little listen. Dr. Wagman, 
Thank you very much for the two. I appreciate it. He said, is the goal to get on Scrab and kill from inside? Uh, I think so. I actually, fun fact, and I'm just gonna, just gonna say it, okay? I don't have, like, a guaranteed yes. This is how I want to have the gameplay go. I have one major thing locked in for this mod. One, there's gonna be a giant scarab either AI or player, and two, there's going to be players running around the city, and there's going to be good gameplay that facilitates cinematic moments within there. Oh, Kazingo Boulevard is the Scorpion mission? Oh, shoot. Is it possible to ram randomize the names of the streets with the name of uh, channel members? Um, I feel like it should be. Yeah, that should be possible for sure. You want Kazingo Boulevard? Yeah, I'm opening it up in the background. Well, I'm opening up Tayari Plaza, but I, I will go for Kazingo Boulevard once it's done loading. <laughs> Whack Man Way, yeah. I'm not sure if I can do, like, hundreds of them, but theoretically I could. I don't know. I would have to find a way to do it. I know there's, I don't know, Halo 3 shaders aren't really conducive to doing randomization like that. Hey. Okay. Oh yeah, Tyari Plaza is Buck's mission. Well, this one should work too. I was thinking about this one in my head as well. Okay, I hear gunshots. Oh, you guys can't see. Hold on. You hear distant explosions. Oh, I heard the sound of a banshee flying by. Oh, let me pause the music and you guys can hear it too. Dude, I swear to God. One of your armpits has a mind of its own, or your cat said, "Oh yeah, that is not my armpit." I can I can assure you that I'm very confident that the sounds I'm hearing right now are like unironically just the uncompressed Halo Two sounds, and they brought them back for ODST. I'm not joking. It's like exactly the same. The only thing they don't have is the creepy voices. Yeah, there's a banshee flying overhead. And the gunshots. This is creepy good ambience. Good good and creepy, okay. But let's also open up um the one you guys are talking about, Kazingo Boulevard, SC120. And this one should theoretically have more of like a fighting sound. Maybe, possibly. They left out the where's my mom boy. I don't think he even says where's my mom, but let's just say that he does because it's creepier. Some creepy blast of shit right there. We're listening. Oh? I heard a distant explosion. Oh, gunshots. It doesn't feel like very alive. 
But it does feel somewhat alive. Like, there's definitely stuff happening, but it's pretty far away. What about the Dutch mission? Which one is that? Uh, we have Kazingo Boulevard, Tayari Plaza. We could try Uplift Reserve. Uplift Reserve, I know, is like... It might have what we're looking for, though. It doesn't necessarily need to be in the city. It just needs to have, like, city fighting. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's good here. Let's listen. I just want it to sound like it's an active war zone, you know? Let's level with the zoo. That's the one we're loading. Uplift reserve. And I'm dead. And I'm dead. The Inferno Plus managed to randomize the name of his subs in the Minecraft map mod. Well, if he can do it, then it's definitely possible. This is pretty good. I feel like there's more distant explosions in this one. Yeah, I think I like this one the most. And maybe I can add in some like distant gunshots on top of it to kind of mix this in with the others. I think this one's pretty good. The ambience is definitely there. All right, let's see. The name of this ambience is... Do cluster points... What is this one? Earth exterior. I don't think that's it. No, maybe it is it. Is this Earth exterior? I think it is. We have Earth exterior, hub exterior, exterior hub day. I think Earth exterior is literally it. Let's take a listen. We can we can find out. We'll open the ODST gorilla and we'll poke around at the sound effects and it should give us a pretty good idea of what's what. All right, we'll go sound. Um, the DSP reverbs. Wait, they have Halo Two presets in here. That's cool, but no, that's not what we want. We want levels. Atlas. No, which one would this be actually? Hub exterior? Your earth exterior. Okay, so earth exterior sounds like this. Sounds like. Oh my god. It's wind. It sounds windy. That's what it sounds like. Good, sh good fucking god. Alright, then the sound effects that it has is. Zanzibar distant battle dot sound, which sounds like this. Just like the most muffled firefight ever, which is pretty cool. You got me keen to just load into this mod and chill to the sounds. Not a bad idea, to be honest. It'll be pretty vibey. We got this. Really creepy. Um, we got wind, wind moan. Don't like that name. C 
creepy as fuck. Let's go, dude. I hate it. Fuck yes, dude. I fucking hate it. Let's go. Okay, we'll go to Hub Exterior Day. And the fun sounds that that has is, wow, a lot of stuff, actually. Pretty much all the stuff that we were just listening to. Except the cool Zanzibar Distant Battle. Whoa, bless you. You got a cold, Miss Weasel. Bless you. Bless you, kitty. We got Distant Machine Gun Sounds, which is pretty cool. It goes like this. A little bit of this. Also this. We got Distant Battle 1 Mono. Uh, we got Distant Battle 33. Uh, what is low? We got some low pass explosions. You know, you can tell they're distant because they got that low pass filter. Multiplayer map turf got some sounds. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all of these sound effects that are being used here as objects levels SC1. They're kind of all over the place. SC100, 120. I think they're all. Yeah, okay, they're all here. I can actually extract these. The good news is I don't have to go through any of the Halo 2 stuff and download it, and these are all also high quality. I'm just going to take all the sound effects from this ODST goodness here. I'm just going to just going to make them mine. Yeah, it sounded really creepy, but I'm sure you guys get the idea. I want these sounds here. They're very cool, and I like them. They need to be imported as ambient nature. Oh man, I gotta set up all these sounds and they're gonna suck ass, dude. All right, here's what's gonna happen. I will do these, but I'll do them later. I don't wanna do these right now. I'm streaming, I wanna do something more engaging than adding in subtle wind and distant explosion noises. That low key be a good scarab growl if you have it. Possibly. I'm looking forward to doing scarab growl sounds and, and stuff and things. Hmm. I could add another building. I could touch up these buildings. What is it? I don't know what I want to do next, to be honest. Maybe work on the map? I could try to do a bit more with, like, the roads. That could be good. Try to expand the map out a bit more. Because, like, it's nice. I do have the map feeling a bit better. Like, doing one street is kind of gratifying. But I don't want to get used to this feeling of completion that it ha that it's giving me. You know? really fun to do that dude you when i release this map and you guys are just able to like fuck around with buildings i'm just gonna let you know right now they're so fun to destroy i think what i'll do to be honest is i'll make these like multiplayer objects but not give them a respawn so that they never like disappear and then i'll make it so you can delete them and forge and you can like build your own cities if you want that'd be kind of fun you can like place down your own buildings or maybe i'll make a forge version of this on top of like the polished version your amount that bullets can destroy an entire building is insane. I mean, this is not what it's going to be like, obviously, when the mod's releasing. When the mod's releasing, you'll be able to shoot these buildings to your heart's content, and it's not going to do anything. Only the Scarab is going to be able to actually destroy these buildings. You can throw a thousand grenades, and this building will be just fine. But the Scarab, on the other hand, will obliterate them. As a player, these buildings are basically immovable objects. They might as well be actual map geometry, but the Scarab, however, will destroy them completely. And it will be awesome. My fly cam working today. It is! Let's go, dude! I really wish I could, like, run around while the Scarab was walking by. That would be really fun. Like look at this. Let's just let's just admire this. Look at 
Like, that's just so cool, dude. The scarabine just walk. Oh, so many possibilities of destroyable buildings. I know! I just want to get this. Dude, that looks insane. I know! And imagine, like, you're running around with your friends in the city, like, trying to complete an objective and trying to avoid this scarab, where it's actively trying to, like, kill you. Like, you better pray. What I'm gonna have to do is balance the scarab's beam, because, like, obviously, if the scarab has its beam like this, it's going to be completely overpowered. But... If it fires its beam and it knows where you are, it can do, like, this. And just destroy an entire city block in, like, one second. Absolutely shredding. Is that my weasel? Come here! I think I should also make it so after a building gets destroyed, it kind of has, like, a passive dust effect. Where it kind of leaves like a dusty fog for like, I don't know, 30 seconds. That would be kind of cool. Hi, Weasel. I mean, the entire city block will just get leveled and the Scarab's like, I see you. How about a glassing beam? Yeah, that would just evaporate everything instantly. That would definitely help hiders escape since Scare wouldn't be able to see. True, but as soon as that fog clears, that area basically becomes like a no-fly zone, you know? You do not want to be walking through there. But the longer the round goes on, the harder it's going to be to hide because all that's going to be left is just rubble. Like, what's going to be cool, too, is, like, you're going to be able to, like, climb onto buildings and stuff and, like, look over and see the Scarab walking through the city as, like, rubble and dust is kicked up. And this entire... I really got to figure out how to do it, but this entire area is going to be fully destructible buildings. Can you add a spotlight to the eye as an alt? That would go hard. Dude, that's a sick fucking idea. That is actually a sick... Yes, absolutely. I absolutely can. And I can give it like a shadow and everything. That really does make me want to make this map kind of nighttime. You know, this map, I do really like this dusk kind of piss vision color. It's very ODST and like Mombasa y. But a nighttime version of this would be really cool. Night would be amazing. It would help balance for hiders. It would. I mean, it's like not really sunset, but it's like dusk at this light level. Let me try adding a spotlight to the scarab, though. That sounds so fucking cool. I, that like I need to I need to know what this looks like. I I really I need to know. We'll do. We'll go to this. We'll open the scarab. Open it up real quick. And I'm gonna add add an attachment on. What's the name of like the eye? Is it? I feel like mouth. I, I'll just put it on the primary trigger. So on the primary trigger. If it's alive, we will have objects, vehicles. I'm going to put the Warthog's uh, light on it first. Running headlight dot effect. No, headlight beam. I think it's an effect. Headlight dot effect. Which should be objects, vehicles, scarab H2, FX, and then headlight dot effect and then on the headlight scarab already has those fog lights on the bottom just make it a functional headlight will look amazing i mean that's true hmm you make a valid point actually i might do that the light volume lens flare lens okay so it actually does it's not supposed to be this one i was actually wrong headlight dot lights Effects, delete that. Object vehicles, warthog. It's actually just a direct light attachment. I'm gonna try both. I'm gonna try both, Kabuto, because you have a very good point. Troop, floodlight, lens flare, lens flare. No, I want headlight beam dot light. And then I want the maximum distance to be like a hundred. Let's do like two hundred units. And the brightness. 
Intensity 100, just so we can see what it looks like. I think I see it. Yeah, it's very subtle, but it's there. I make the intensity 1,000. Yeah, now you can really see it. Okay. Let's color it like green so we can really, 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 really see it. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that is without a doubt the scarab looking down at the street. Oh, it's way too bright. You know what the problem is? It's just that these materials are not very reflective. That's the main issue. At t intensity of 10. Oh, it's because it just has a distance fall off. Hold on. Distance fall off. Approximately the physical distance in world that the distance falls off. I'm going to say 50. No, 500. And then I'll bring the intensity actually up to 100. You can barely see it. Approximate the physical size and world units of the light source itself. Small values cause the light to become very bright close to the source, but quickly die off as you move away. Less than one for sharp edges, greater than one for smooth edges. I'm just gonna set everything to insanely high. Wait, transition distance? You can make it a specular light. Also, man, now I'm coming around to it, just having the head be a green spotlight. It would just be cool, because like then you could see it, you know? Shadow casting, allow shadows and gels. I think they kind of broke it. I'm just going to bring the intensity up to a thousand again, which is going to look insane. Never coal. Oh, you're right. Never priority coal. Oh my god, look at that shadow. That's fucking scary. Dude, that's so ominous. Like, if this was at nighttime, like, hold up. Hold up. Watch this. This is gonna look crazy. More brightness, more intensity. Dude, that's like some War of the World spotlight shit right there. That's so cool.
<laughs> Dude, that's so scary. I want to simulate this again. That's so cool. I'm sold. Just use a green spotlight. Yeah, now that it like actually is kind of functioning as an eye, I feel like it's pretty good. Also, I'm an idiot. This is how it works in Halo Wars and Halo Wars 2 with the face being a spotlight. I don't remember if it does that in the first Halo Wars, but definitely Halo Wars 2. Like, look at that. You can kind of see where the scarab's looking because like this bright green light right here is lining up, lighting up like the whole street. Then I go... You can see it looking around. From like pretty far away too. This is actually starting to get a little bit scary. Can we get nighttime real quick by changing the exposure in the camera effects tag? Ah, uh, that's not like proper nighttime though, because there's actually light, like a proper amount of light. This is so fucking scary. Yeah, this just be like I'm not gonna lie, the spotlight really made this a lot scarier. It just it actually did. I didn't think it would, but it did. Change the sky real quick, but then we, I gotta rebake the lighting and it's not gonna work right, and the, the buildings won't look right because they're dependent on there being baked lighting. Can a regular Spartan destroy those buildings? No, the buildings are gonna be completely indestructible for players. The Scarab's feet are just gonna do a hilarious instant kill damage that's gonna destroy buildings. Alright, I will try out a nighttime change. I will have to adjust the light though, because in order for this light to be seen during daytime, I basically had to set it to like infinity brightness. So. I will try, I'll try changing to a different skybox and see what happens. And then I'll bake lighting and then work on it. Um, what was I doing? Or Mombasa, not building, I need the actual level directory. Scenario. And then I'll have to change all the atmosphere stuff, I think. Well, I'll just change the sky as a start. Right now, I was using the Metropolis sky. Let's do levels, Atlas. I think L300 sky might be a nighttime one. I forget. Hmm? No, that's a. Oh, it's the same one, but without modification. I'm looking for L200, I want to say. I think L200 might be it. Uh, no, I don't know what the fuck this one is. This is interesting. We're going to switch it up to not that one because that's cursed. Try... We do H100, I guess is probably... H100, I think, is the Mombasa Street Sky, so that should be nighttime. None of them are the right one! What the fuck is going on? H100 Sky is absolutely the nighttime Mombasa Street Sky, so what's going on here? Maybe it's because the lighting is baked? Oh, you know what? No, it's probably just because the atmosphere. Hold on. We're on SC-130 everything. And I was using the Metropolis Sky Atmosphere properties, which I will have to remember and go back and grab that. But Switch to that. And now, besides the fact that there's baked lighting, it should be good. Okay, that is 
Without a doubt, nighttime sky. I'm not a fan of it, to be honest, at all. It's, the bloom is insane, and I hate it. I don't know. I, I guess I could bake lighting on it. I suppose. I just kind of hate this vibe that it has of the destroyed city. I'll give it a try, though. I just, like, look how dark the scarab is. It's, like, pitch black. Like, that's how dark the actual map will end up being. Well, whatever. I'll try baking lighting. We'll see how it looks. This shouldn't take longer than, like, two minutes, so it's no biggie. I'm sorry, Weasel. I'm not trying to move you. I'm just looking for my phone. Oh, there it is. Are you liking Fume? It's helpful sometimes. Other times it feels like it's taking my um, addiction back in time a little. Like it's kind of undoing some progress. But when I'm doing something stressful like streaming where I actually have to like use my brain quite a bit. And I, I'm feeling stressed. It, it does help a little. I can't lie. What about the Floodgate Skybox? Um, actually not a bad Skybox. That one could be good. It could be good. We'll see though. This one's about to finish baking. It literally takes like only two minutes to bake lighting on this map right now, so it's not too bad. Because this map is just like hilariously small and simple. The, I'm going to guarantee it the light from the Scarab is probably going to be like super, super bright. Could you have the spotlight transition to green or red when it starts charging laser and firing? Um, it's a good question, actually. I don't know. Maybe. I'd have to look. I'll see once the once the light's done baking here in like two seconds. I will check on that because that's a good question. I think I can, in fact, have the brightness tied to a function. Does a scary beam have a firing light? Uh, yeah, it does. But it also has a firing sound, which you cannot mistake. Alright, let's see. Holy shit, yeah, that's really bright. Oh my god, that's fucking horrifying, dude. You're joking. There's no way it's that scary. <laughs> this is so scary, what the fuck? It looks like fucking night vision. Okay, I think it's probably too bright, in all honesty, but I kind of like that it's so horrifyingly bright.
Banana Nana Man. Thank you very much for the five. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Light change would be crazy. It would. Everything within the light will die. I know. The map must be night now. I'm like 50-50 to be honest. Like, this... I think night would look good, but also this kind of night I'm not a fan of, to be honest. I don't really like this particular skybox. Because it's pretty dull and boring outside of everything else, and you can't do flashlights in multiplayer, so... This is literally like the ultimate hide-and-seek. Fire the beam? The beam's gonna look like so bright it's just gonna blow out the entire map I'd wager let's see though oh not really actually the beam looks pretty good in this lighting I thought the bloom might look worse But thank you for the fiver. Much appreciated. For the ODST scanner, work in multiplayer. Only if I made this mod in ODST, which is not out of the question. I could switch this over to ODST and allow people to be actual ODSTs and all that good stuff. That makes it so much cooler. I mean, I agree, to be honest. This is really cool. I also like that the light actually lights up like half the map, you know? Make two versions, night and day? I think it's a fun idea. And if this map was set at night, this spotlight would actually be necessary for the Seeker player who's in the Scarab. I feel like it would just be a bit chaotic, is my only complaint. Like, if you were out here and you it was this dark, like, you really wouldn't be able to see much around you. You'd be like confused as to where the fuck you are at all times just running for your life horrified oh, look I even cast a shadow in the scarabs thing fancy that chaos is awesome though I suppose so yeah that could be fine maybe Let's see, what does it look like outside of the Scarab's light? Everything's just kind of dull. More add light. Yeah, add a, I can't add any more lights, to be honest. It's basically this light. Would it be more scary if the Scarab Beam was an octave or two deeper? Possibly, yeah. I want to add some pretty scary sounds to the Scarab. destroyed everything can the bottom fog lights be real too um i don't know how many i'm allowed to get away with but they, I, they could maybe some street lights along the roads i would have to bake them in and that wouldn't really affect these buildings like the fact that this is being these buildings are affected by this light is only because this is a super expensive dynamic spotlight uh, any other lights here would not affect the dynamic destroyable buildings. However, this is making me question, what if I added in a fake sunlight that added, like, dynamic lights to the whole map, similar to what this is doing? Is that a dumb idea? 
Old Man Boss, I can't afford lights anyways. I'm gonna try something that's probably dumb. Moonlight? Yeah, something kind of like that. Because my map can't have baked lighting, can I do... CPU real-time lighting? I'm very curious about this. I want to I wanna try this. I had not questioned whether or not this is possible. People have tried this in Halo 2 with the stencil lighting system that everybody was after for so long. But I think I might be able to do it in Halo 3 as well. I don't know, though. I'll have to try this. Street lights? No, I wish. I really do wish. I could bake those in, but they wouldn't. Like I said, you guys don't... Uh, it's hard to explain, but these buildings, they do not... They're not affected by light baking. If I baked lighting on this map, they would not get good lighting. The, the fact that there's really cool green lighting on this right now is because I'm using an expensive real-time light. That's being rendered every single frame. Whereas baked lighting happens once instantly and then never again. Um, 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 So, here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna grab building... Do I want to do building one? I need... It needs to be a custom object. You'd have to commit to that from every light source? Yeah, and the Halo engine would only allow, like, two of them, basically. And that's why I have the Scarab, and that's fine, because it's the Scarab is only the it's the only light source doing that. But also, I could theoretically do a second one, which would be a sky object. I'm going to make that, actually, very quickly. Very, very quickly. I'm going to make a new object for this. I'm going to call it the sun. All right, make an armature with a single bone. Sun. Uh, I'm going to make a cube. No, I lied. I'm going to make a sphere. <coughs> Scary girl, I'm sorry. Parent it to that. No, not the bone. Parent to object. All right, so here's the sun. I'm going to give it a material called the sun, but it doesn't matter because it's not actually ever going to be seen. Um, doesn't need a halo region. Duplicate that. This will be its collision model, sun. Then it will be its physics model, also called sun. And there we go. We just made a new halo object called the sun. But there is something important we have to do, which is add a marker for the light to spawn on, which I'm actually going to put um, in front of it here. What are you doing? Are you licking me? Oh, you're so sweet. No, you're not. Thank you for not. Oh, my sweet girl. I love you. Poor sick kitty. All right, this is going to be a marker, which I'm also going to call sun. And I'm going to parent this to the bone. There we go. So now we have, I've created my artificial sun that will theoretically give off like a 10 quadrillion gajillawatt light that will look like the one you're seeing on screen right now but even cooler um but for maps more of my boss i'm gonna make a new folder under buildings i'm gonna call it sun and then i'm gonna extract i'm gonna save the sun to sun.blend and then i'm going to export it as a jms file halo 3 with asset subdirectories blah 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 then data, objects, levels, uh, custom, War of Mombasa, make a folder called Sun. Go here, enter buildings, click Sun, go there. Let me do tool, render, objects, levels, multi, no, custom. Or, uh, wait, I don't have to do any of this. Why am I doing any of this? Hold on. I have a shortcut. Well, let me do my shortcut really quickly. All right, shortcut is done. Check this out. I have created a crate object for it. Throw it in here. Give it the sun model file. 
And now that it's already in the proper directory, if I click bulk import, it will magically import everything from the directory in the data folder that it's re uh, relevant to. And then boom, everything is done. I can delete the variance for it because that's unneeded. I can delete damage info for it because that's unneeded. Everything else seems to be fine. Now, I can go into game and spawn in our magical sun. It won't do anything yet. Keyword yet, but it will do something soon. Do sun. I should probably have made this a scenery object just so it doesn't get despawned ever, but it's fine. Here's our sun. As you can see, it's literally just a ball with physics. But we'll, fa we'll change that. First of all, I'm going to remove its physics. And by remove it, I mean give it fixed physics so that it's not um, ever going to be awoken. There we go. Now the ball can float. And then next, we need an attachment of the light. So I will add an attachment on the marker called sun with no primary scale. And this will be... I'm going to duplicate the scarab slide, actually. I'm so curious to know if this will work. The light should be horizontal because the surrounding city is on fire. Yeah, I'm going to experiment with it. I'm going to experiment with colors and all kinds of stuff. Headlights, beam lights. I'll go over here. Sun. At, where did I just do? Close. Uh, FX. Uh, instead of headlight beam, I'm going to call it sun beam. Sun beam? Sun beam sounds good. We'll do that. I'll change its color, at least temporarily, to just be white. And, I don't know, let's see, does that do anything? Oh, it did! We have a sunlight. But I can aim. Now, one of the critical things about this is that its field of view is only 90 degrees. I'm going to try making it 180 degrees, see if that does anything. Well, it certainly made it a lot wider. I'm going to make the maximum distance 2,000. Whoa. Okay. That's certainly something. Let's switch this to local axis so it's a little easier to work with. Um, zero equals no spread a straight beam of light. Okay. Can I do 360? Does that break it if I do that? Uh, it doesn't break it. This is actually becoming like the equivalent, the game engine equivalent of like a, an actual dynamic light. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna give it a red color. No, I'm gonna color it blue so that we know what's being lit from this and by this. And uh, I'm actually gonna delete the scarab for a second just so we can kind of see what this looks like. I think it's intensity, distance, diffusion. What size is it? I don't know, like 10? You guys look at it in game. Tell me what this does to the light. I'm gonna change this size to 100. Can make it a point source? Um, I can, but I there's no reason to because I want it to be directional. The main point of this is that it's going to have cast a shadow. I'm gonna I'm gonna ten x the intensity. Oh, it is casting blurry shadows, so that's interesting. It's a pretty cheap light source. It's casting shadows, but it's so such a massive maximum distance that it's. Kind of defeating the purpose of why I had it in the first place. The shadow casting on? Yes, but it's just such a large light source that... The shadows might as well not be there because they're so low quality. I think it really just comes down to like... How big the maximum distance is on it. I could try like a 200 maximum distance, which lights up a pretty good area. Let me try this though. The there's another value in here called smoothness. I'll put that to the least smoothness. Nice. And then I could take this and move it. I don't know, let's see what happens if I put it, like, there. I mean, there's certainly some kind of blurry shadows here. So that's definitely something. 
Like, without a doubt, it is casting shadows. Let's switch it to uh, a white light. Oh my god, my eyes. Let's make it like a sunny yellow. Way too bright. <laughs> Blue light district, yeah. Actually, though. So that kind of simulates a real-time light, but once again, the shadow map that it's allowed to have, that it can, like, allocate, is really... Terrible. Really terrible. Oh wait, I just sharpened it and made the shadows a lot nicer. Nice. Much more realistic shadows now that it's not allocating it to such a large area. Okay, let's look at those shadows. Alright, I'm going to up this to 180, which should cover most of the map. Oh yeah, that, that just like kills any hope, to be honest. Like these shadows are still decent, but they're bad enough that I'm just kind of... Maybe like, what's 90 plus like 135? That still does cover the whole map at 135 degrees. Makes the shadows a little bit better. They look kind of ass. They've got all these weird stripey stuff going on. Whereas I think at 90 it didn't really do that. Yeah, no, at 90 degrees it, it looks like a blurry blobby shadow map. But it's still pretty good. That walking sound effect is yuck. I agree. I don't know why it sounds so bad. I, I really hate it. <laughs> like a lot. I, oh, you know what? I think I know what why, um, why it's doing that. It's because... I'm going to fix that because it is going to drive me up a wall if I keep hearing it. Levels, custom, shaders. No, it's levels, multi, Mombasa bridge, shaders. It's base, paver. That's it. Yeah, tough terrain gravel. No, why did it? <laughs> Should be like tough terrain concrete or something. Yeah, let's go. We'll find the right one. Tough terrain Hard terrain concrete. And then the other one is base sidewalk, I think. Which they were all set to gravel, which is not good. Hard terrain concrete. Much better. Much, much better. But yeah, admittedly, this is not the worst solution to the lighting. Um, I don't want to call it a problem, but yeah, like this is actually not that bad. It looks surprisingly good. I, the thing is, too, like I don't actually even need to do this. Like I could just do a nighttime map, but with a custom skybox that looks decent and then call it a day. But if I wanted actual dynamic, proper shadows, I, I could also do this, which is not that bad. It's one enormous, gigantic light. One gigantic, real-time light. I just, to be honest, I hate this skybox. Like, this... Something about this skybox is just really ugly to me. I don't like it. I think one of the problems is, like, the smoke. You can literally see, like, the JPEG compression where there's, like, these weird green bits. It just looks like you can see the dithering. You can see, like, the 8-bit dithering. It's really not great. I don't like it. I'm going to switch skyboxes. Like, no matter what, I'm switching skyboxes. That's just bad. Custom skybox would be better. I mean, I agree. I agree. Let's try another skybox. How about... I think SC140? Is this the one I'm thinking of? Let's see. Um, don't think so. We could try... No, that's like the sunrise. It looks like blown out there because of like the post-processing, but... Try SC130. This is like a daytime one. 
there not another nighttime one? I swear there is. Let's see, 120? They're all like just sunset. I don't know. I see 110 sky one. Sky two. They all kind of suck, to be honest. I hate to say it, but I'm not enjoying any of these skyboxes very much, at least for the purpose of all this. <clears throat> I kind of like the daytime skybox I was rocking with before. Oh, wait. I might fuck with this one. Hold up. Hold up. This might be good. Let me delete the... I'm gonna delete the sun real quick. This is like a nice... Alright, this is L300. Let me switch to the L300 stuff for, for post-processing. Okay, not bad. Now, let me run light baking on this. Depending on how this looks, I think... I think what I'm going to end up doing... Oh god. Uh, is working on the couch. We're gonna, I'm going to do the drivable couch and say, fuck it. Hold on, I'm gonna let this load for a second. You guys jam out. I'll be back in just one moment. I'm gonna grab a... What am I gonna grab? A cheese stick? I'm gonna grab one singular cheese stick. Oh, God, I'm gonna fall over. Girl, my foot fell asleep because of you. So cute, though. I'll let it slide. I will be right back. My god, it's almost done! Sent you a very relevant meme for the drivable couch? Let me see this. See if we'll be able to watch it without the light baking getting in the way. But she's taking my boys' priority straight, and my cat does too. 
Just trying to eat it. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Lazy writer. Oh, this is uh, copyrighted music. Ah! I'm sorry, I can't watch it anymore. Probably, I'm, I it could get struck. Sixty-four slices of American cheese. If you can eat American cheese on its own, not as part of food, I'm concerned for you. There's so much better cheese that's just the same price. My creature. I love her very much, but she is a monster for when it comes to cheese. Girl, I will provide you your government allotted cheese stick quota. Enjoy your meal. This is not a bad look. It's okay. Am I tripping or did lighting bake on these? Oh no, it's just the shadow of the building over there. That's what's happening. That's strange though. It looks very smooth. Like it shouldn't be that smooth. This is a good looking, uh, good looking light map skybox though. It's not that scary though. That's the problem. The sun's still like very much out. So the scarab isn't going to be like a horrifying monstrosity. I think this is even brighter than the other sky that I had before. Yeah, the light's not that scary here. I think the original skybox I had, even like before the night one. I hate it when people look at me like I'm some sort of weirdo for eating a 7 by 5 inch block of Kraft American cheese in the park. <laughs> It's a giant fucking chunk of it. It's so fucking good. I love cheese so fucking much. Hello? Nope. I'm just hearing voices. It's fine. Maybe 30% darker? Yeah, I mean, I agree. I don't know, though. Like, it, it feels very dark when you finally see this green light actually light up things. It makes you realize, like, oh, wait, it is actually pretty fucking dark. Because that's bright. That is very bright. What would happen with Halo in 100 years when our generation is gone? Who knows? Maybe nothing, maybe everything. Probably somewhere in between. What a scary sight, though. Actually scary. I think this is not bad. I think if it was this, this, like, light level plus fog. Could we mean nitpicking with the light? Uh... Shouldn't the light be darker green to match the gun color? Um, to be honest, the gun color is... Is it... Uh, it's maybe a bit more... I don't know, it feels pretty on point, to be honest.
I don't know. I think this is actually a very good light level for this. It's like, it doesn't feel dark because your eyes like adjust to it, right? So it kind of brightens up. But the moment that the scarab's light starts shining down, it auto adjusts your everything else to become darker and it kind of gives you that feeling. But HDR really like accounts for it and it feels dark and scary the moment the scarab's on you. But, uh, but then when it's not on you, you feel like you have vision and you can see. Problem is I'm not H2A spamming, but imagine it's an H2A, which doesn't have nearly as much restrictions with shining, uh, shadows and lighting. I know, dude. I know. It'd be so much better. But then again, if you were doing this in H2A, you really wouldn't be able to get away with the shitty low-poly stuff like this. It'd be a lot harder to do, because everything else is so much higher quality. The nice thing about Halo 3, in my opinion, is that, like, while it does look nice, it's still old. And you can get away with lower-poly stuff without it feeling too, too out of place. But I agree. You're right. This would be a lot better with all the fancy lighting tricks I'm trying to pull off right now at H2A. Like, a hundred times better, actually. Alright. I think it's drivable couch time. Even in Reach, to be honest. Reach still does have a lot of the same lighting issues, but it is better. It does have a higher budget, I think. But I do very clearly remember having a lot of trouble with this stuff in Reach. Actually, it is pretty bright when you're not in the shadow of a building, I will say. This might be too bright. We'll see, though. We'll see. I, li I like it. I like it. I could always just put a bunch of buildings down to cast more shadows. Is there a way to turn off cutscene lighting settings for multiplayer? Turn on cutscene lighting settings? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. Probably in a script. I could experiment with it. What this is, basically, the, the light that's on the scarab, as far as I can, as far as I know, it is a cutscene light. It is like the same thing. Like, not, not exactly the same thing, but like, more or less. It's a CPU light. Okay, I need to see if there is a couch prop in Void. I swear Halo 3 has a couch. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty confident it does. Let's see, solo, um, outskirts. No, not outskirts, it's not outskirts, is it? We have like hut, door, vault door, Void. Maybe it doesn't actually. Let me search for it. I'll search for it. Bags. I'll search. I'll first search couch. Let's see if we can find any luck. It might be called sofa or couch. I don't know. Do you guys know? Oh, we get this couch dot shader. That's promising. Let's open that. Open file location. What is this? It's your thing, Skaboodly. You have a couch shader. What? Why do you have a couch shader? What is this? Okay, let's try that again. Couch. We're searching for the couch. Check under gear residential. Oh, you're so right, actually. Fuck the search. Hold on. Objects. Gear. Human, residential, ooh, bunk beds, dumpster, sofa! There's a sofa right there. Human sofa. Oh, let's see. Let's see what this looks like in game. The seats in the bridge are named that from Halo 2. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Objects, gear, human, residential, human sofa. And there's even a human sofa love seat. We're gonna have to try that one out. We got a... Office chair. We definitely need to know what that looks like. Uh, what else? Well, let's add the coffee table. I think, I think we need the coffee table. Let's see what Bungie's version of human residential stuff looks like. Here's the coffee table. You know, this is a pretty nice coffee table, I gotta say. 
This is nice. What else do we have? Office chair. Okay. Pretty good actually. This feels this feels halo-y. And now for the moment of truth. Not quite, but here's the love seat of the sofa. Ooh. A little bit torn up. A little love seat. Now what about the full sofa? Whoa! Triple sofa! Amazing. Now that's that's incredible, really. I want to monitor you take chairs and melee people with them. You know, I'm going to be honest, guys. If we're doing the drivable sofa, I'm more partial to the love seat. I think the love seat should be the drivable sofa. I got to say it. I think it would look better if it was the love seat. Can the sofa hold three? Yeah. The full tier sofa can, in fact, hold three. As you can see by the three couch cushions. Yeah, I think I think the the love seat version of the sofa is the is the right one. This is the right choice here. I fuck with it. I do. Who would be the driver of the center person? I don't know. Love seat with a Gauss cannon. I could like slap. A, you know what? We're gonna make it drivable first. You're taking that love seat for a ride, but probably not in the way you were thinking. <laughs> I laughed. Uh, who would be the driver for the left seat, left or right? That depends on what country you're in. But uh, here in good old US of A, it would be this seat right here. This would be the driver. Let's do it. Let's extract the sofa. Tool. What the hell? Tool. Extract. Render. Data. Objects. Gear. Human. Residential. Human sofa. Slash. Human sofa. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Incredible. Uh, sun object was interesting, to be sure. Could have been better. Look at that sofa, dude. The thing we just have the technology. Like, that's incredible. That's just so special. This whole time, we were thinking to ourselves, man, you know, it's cool that we play Halo video game, but whatever happened to the, to the sofa? And, you know, every time somebody asked that question, I thought, ah, oh, fuck, wait, that's the, that's the big sofa. God damn it. I need H sofa love seat. Hopefully you guys didn't correct me. This is your fault. Mm. Mm. There it is. H sofa love seat. Oh, let's go, dude! I thought you wanted the love seat. Wrong! I mean, not wrong, actually. You're, you're absolutely right. But, uh, I won't admit it. What is this? We'll do base So You know what? No. Delete that Halo region. Add a new one. Base sofa. Assign that. Alright, there we go. So now, easily. Very easily. Yo, Milkman! Thank you for the five, man. I appreciate it. Players should get a health buff since it's so unprotected. Should just have a built-in regenerator swing. Wow, wow, wow. Let's add in some markers to begin with. This will be where the player sits. And I think... I think it needs to be placed a little bit high, if I'm not mistaken. Like that, and then up a little. Forget. I'm not sure how big this thing is. Actually, let's find out just how big it is. Import scale model helper is there. Halo 3, Master Chief, generate model. Ah, 
Oh yeah, he can he can be moved back a little. We can move him back like there, there. Oh, this needs to be on the x-axis too. Oh geez, let's uh, rotate that 90 degrees. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Much better. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Pretty damn good. Now, this is going to be uh, Sofa D. Yeah, that's the driver's seat right there. We got to give it the classic Halo naming scheme. Sofa D. And then I'll flip it around 180 degrees. Actually, no, not 180 degrees. Actually, I could probably just use the same thing. Sofa D, enter. It's probably fine. Maybe just bring it upwards a little bit at player height. You know. It's pretty good, though. All right, so now you can get in the sofa. But now we need the sofa to have features. You know, things like, for example, guns. I think guns would go pretty hard. Couch needs nuke launcher. Yo, Geronimo, thank you for the one e euro? I need to look this up so I can just stop questioning it. Euro symbol. That's a euro. Thank you for the one uh, euro and 55 pence, probably. I don't know, I'm just making things up. Dual Goss cannons? What do you think, Milkman? Dual Goss cannons? Dual machine guns? No guns? Nuke launcher? What are you thinking, man? Because this originally was your, this, this is your brainchild here. Two Goss guns poking out of the armrests. I'm so glad you said that because I was thinking that. And everybody else was kind of suggesting it. Like, yes, that is a good idea. Actually, I can bring this down. The physics model doesn't need to be like, yeah, yeah, like that. Down a little there. Okay, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Next up, let's add some physics stuff. Uh, first, let's name this the proper physics thing. This will be Sofa. Parent it to that. Duplicate. Bring it up. Bring it in. Duplicate. Rotate. Ciao. Guys, real talk. Imagine this, okay? You're on a date. You're on a date with a girl. And uh, you lean in. You're like, you know what? I like this girl. You lean in. You give her a smooch. You give her a nice, good old smooch. She looks at you with a big smile on her face. And she goes, Ciao. Do you stay? Is that a deal breaker? Or do you, do you say ka-chow back? Like, what's your move there? RJ number one best modder. So real, so true. Best modder ever. Uh, most best. Biggest, most huge. Big mod. Biggest, huge. Largest modder. Sofa. Marriage, you're, you're real for that. You're actually very real for that. All right, this is going to become its collision model. We've got a collision model now, looking good. Base sofa. There we go. Base sofa is set. Looking very good. Now, next thing we gotta do, this thing needs to move. Yes, I do need to give it some badass guns, but before that, it needs to move. 
Yo, Milkman, thank you for the five, dude. Much appreciated. He said, I don't know if it should just be a two-seater or have two extra seats on the back or armrests. I mean, people can sit on the armrests. It's very easy. Well, it's just kind of a, it's kind of a big thing, but they should theoretically be able to sit on the armrests. All right. Now, I need to do this. For these face downwards, and this is going to be a marker called uh, Grav... L. I'm, I'm not, this isn't going to float off the ground, but I am going to give it anti-grav physics, just so it's simpler than, like, using wheels and stuff. So I'm going to do that. It's going to be like my gaming chair, the way that my gaming chair moves, where it technically is using anti-grav, but it's so weak that it just glides across the ground and you don't know it's anti-grav. This will be RB. LB. Looking pretty spiffy, all right? That's what I like to see. Yeah, I guess we do need the passenger seat, though. So we'll do sofa P as the passenger seat. And then sofa P enter. That's the way you get in, and we move that over. Skirt. There you go. Passenger's got a nice and cozy spot right there on the couch. And we can most definitely add some more seats, but so far so good, honestly. Not too shabby. But now, of course, we need Mac not Mac cannons. <laughs> definitely not Mac cannons. Goss cannons, which I mean Technically speaking, our Mac cannons, but whatever, you know what I'm talking about. And here's how it's going to work. I need another Blender file where I can grab the Goss cannon from. Stare at the couch in-game for a second, remember it, look at its beauty, its grace. I keep imagining it as like a reddish pink couch, like the Half-Life 2 couch. Add two on the back with the mongoose passenger animation. Wait, that's so good. You're hold on, I have to do that. I have to do that. That's such a good idea. Were they like holding on? That's fucking hilarious. What's the name of the warthog turret? I think I have it in the actual folder. It's like objects, vehicles, warthog, turrets, goss. Yeah, okay, here it is. We got the goss turret. There we go. Okay. I think what I want to do is I want to take just the cannon part, which is like this material. What is this? Goss extra. Yeah, I just want that. I want to take this, delete everything else, and... Hi, Weasel. What's up, my sweet girl? Oh, my poor sick kitty cat needs so much love. You're so sweet and sick, my girl. Head cannon. This, this is either a device made by the citizens of New Mombasa or it is developed by Oni as their newest vehicle for the UNSC. Uh, so the answer to that is uh, yes and also yes. Also yes. All right, this is the cannons right here. This is the, the actual cannons that will be functional. I think it looks pretty good, to be honest. I'm a fan. Head cannon, this is either a device made by the citizens of New Mombasa or it is developed by Oni as their newest vehicle for the UNIC. I think... I think truly... This is Oni's secret weapon. Like the 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 citizens of New Mombasa wish, they really do wish that they were able to to make something this incredible. Milkman, thank you for the two, dude. Appreciate it. It's an ancient forerunner artifact. So true. You're you're absolutely right. It is. You're actually the lore head on this one. 
I have, I have, tr like, I never do this. I actually don't ever do this, but I have given you full, absolute authority over, over this, um, asset. This is just, this is now yours. And I, I, you're absolutely right. You said it, therefore it is true. Wait, Z, zero, nice. And you might be like, there's no way that a Gauss cannon is going to fit in a couch and you'd be dead wrong. Rejected shotgun, you cannot fit a Gauss cannon into that. There is no way. Fucking wrong. Oh shoot, uh, accidentally broke it. Yeah, that'll do. Good enough. Seems to be mostly symmetrical. Make it a double decker couch. I think I'm gonna have to do like some wacky ass animations for this. Okay, what if I store them under the couch and they like slide out and go like But like they're actually still full sized gauze cannons. <laughs> oh, this sounds kind of fun. Can I make this small? I could make them smaller, but I I don't know if I want to. It's kind of awesome that they're enormous. But I, I could stubify them for sure. Like I could, I could just go like that and scrunch them. They're gonna look like super squashed in game with the textures, but like, fuck it. Okay, hear me out though, hear me out, okay? Watch this. I'm going to parent this to the armature, to the new. Oh shit, hold on. Okay, we have this bone. This is Goss R. Okay, I'll delete the other bone. Goss R is going to be the bone that controls the Goss cannon. But hear me out, okay? This will be parented to Goss R. And Goss R is going to be in relation to frame. And then I can do some goofy shit with this. Imagine this, okay? You get in this and it goes and then it like locks in and goes like thoughts, opinions. I could just make it go slide out of there, to be honest. I actually don't, I'm not opposed to that. I could have it literally just slide out of the armrest. That might be better. It'd be a lot simpler too. Get rid of this big bulky thing and just make it the tube. Let's 
Looks like a penis. I think it should rise vertically from and rest on the arms. Just tube and armrest extends out. Yeah, that's, that was my original thought, but I wanted to get creative, but now I'm just like, honestly, that's so much work. <laughs> I can just do this. This is a lot easier. Right, what I'll do then is I'll have a vertex group for this called Goss R. Assign it there and then invert everything and assign this to B frame node. And while that won't make sense initially, it will in the end. And it'll actually allow me to do some cartoony shit with it, which will be fun. Oh, right, I gotta fix that. Uh, edit mode. Okay, we're, uh, I'm doing the boring part right now, but I swear it'll be fun soon. Okay, good. And then we'll give you an armature. Does it work? Oh, it works. Perfect. You can go. Perfect. Okay, this is going to be awesome. Sick. Okay, we'll finish this up and get it in game right now. Let's do it. Double up the Goss. Duplicate Goss R. Make it Goss L. And duplicate this and then attach it to Goss L as well. Oh, this Goss was not parented. That's really awkward. Do the same thing here, blah, 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 blah. Goss L, no, Goss R. Boom. And in edit mode, I will move this over here. And then do the same thing for this one. Wait, this is supposed to be, a dude, I'm so confused. Duh! Look at it straight on. Goss R. Goss L. Holy shit, dude. My brain actually just exploded. That was insane. I'm losing my mind. It's Goss L. Perfect. Okay, perfect. I don't know what the fuck happened with this run right here, but it can suck my fucking nuts, dude. How did that even happen? What is wrong with it? That doesn't even make sense. But you know what? I just don't even care. I'm just going to fix it. Perfection. Perfection. Do you even need all the extra bits hidden in the couch? Nope. But on the off chance that I was going to use them, I wanted to keep them. But yeah, it's totally unnecessary. Some wheelchair tires inside the couch. I was so tempted to add actual wheels, like warthog wheels on it or something. All right, but hear me out. Hear me out, okay? This is the couch. All is well with the couch. We save it, but since this is a vehicle, it does need animations. So, of course, since it needs an animation to render in-game in the first place, might as well make a new animation called, I don't know... Combat any open. Opening. Or no, closing. Actually, yeah, let's do opening first. It'll be easier that way. Here's combat any opening. It's a new animation for this. Uh, we'll go in pose mode, you know, mess around on combat any opening. Get this force saved. And I think maybe what I'll do is this is when you get out of it. It'll close up. And then after, I don't know, one second, these will go inwards, like so. All right, very good, but now we're encountering an issue where I don't know what the fuck is going on here. 
Oh wait, I do know what's going on. Parent to object armature. Oh my god, kill me! Why, SpongeBob? Why? Alright, there we go. Oh wait, that's the nutsack. That's supposed to go down low. You're having a bad day. Just remember, Bungie designed a Goss cannon and somehow it looks like a nutsack. And uh, it looks like cock and balls. Alright, now... Let's look at that animation again. Not bad, but there's one last thing that needs to be done. Alright, let's see. Did that work out? It did, but I do need to move this back further, like that. Boom. All right, now when you get out, these go and they retract back in. But we can do we can do better. We can do better than that. We can copy all these. We got a new one called Combat Any Closing. This is when you get into it, and then uh, we'll just invert all those frames. But instead of it like just going out, what I want to do. Have it go like really far out, kind of cartoony like, you know, like that. Maybe maybe not quite that far out. Nice. There we go. Check that out. Now that goes hard. Dope. Alright, so this is going to be a, a 30 frame animation starting at frame 1. And then this one was also a 30 frame animation starting at frame 1. This thing is ready to go in game. Fucking go. First I'll export all of the big file stuff. JMS. Done. Next up, I'll do the animations. Why is that 35 frames? Ah, fuck it. We'll do 35 frames. Export this as a JMA. Halo 3 style JMA called Combat Any Closing. Then we'll do the other one, which is Combat Any Opening, which is only a 30 frame animation. And this is when you get out of it. Nice. We'll save that. Technically, we have everything. This is the <laughs> this is the kind of forerunner tank. Yeah, you're right. That's that's true. Milkman, <laughs> dude. I don't know why that makes me laugh so hard. I'm just imagining like everyone's like fucking salivating for so long. They're like, no way, dude. Did you hear about the cut forerunner tank from Halo Two? Like, it's this legendary thing. There's barely even pictures of it that exist. Every, nobody really knows what it looks like. It's like it was a sofa with two Goss cannons on it the whole time. So dumb. God damn it. All right, objects, vehicles, sofa. All right now, what I gotta do? Oh wait, shit. All that's supposed to go in the data folder, not the tags folder. Ah! Oh my god, I'm gonna have a stroke, dude. I don't know why it's so hard to select stuff in Windows 11, but I genuinely, genuinely am of the impression that they made it harder just to select anything. I don't know how, don't know how they did it, but they did, and it drives me insane. All right, but we got the sofa. Now there's two things we need for the sofa. One is the sofa shaders, and two is the Gauss Cannon shaders. So, first of all, objects, gear, human, residential, shaders. I'm presuming that it's going to be called 
probably sofa. I, that's what I would have guessed, but there's nothing in there for it, so I guess not. We gotta go investigate ourselves. Open up its render model. Poke around. It's probably the cloth material, but let's see. Yeah, H Fabric Red. For the record, this is not red. It's called H Fabric Red, and I'm looking at this, and this is not a very red fabric. So, bad naming scheme, Bunjo. All right, H Fabric Red. Throw that in there under sofa shaders. Then, of course, we need the Goss Warthog shaders, so. I don't think it's in the Goss shaders folder. Maybe it is. It is. Okay, well, I'm just going to copy all of them. I don't need all of them, but I'm getting all of them. Last but not least. Do I do the war? I think it needs the mongoose. I think it needs mongoose controls. In fact, it's going to get the Goss mongoose. Oh, wait! I almost made a critical mistake. I did not add... Driving a driver steering animation with Xbox controller. That would go pretty. Oh, wait, that would actually be so good. Like the little the Duke controller would be good. And you, that's where you hold on to it. It's got like markers for your hands. You're just skirt, skirt. Hold on. I have to. I just realized uh, I've made a terrible goof. I didn't put firing points for the Goss to come from. I have to. I have to do that. Hold on. Duplicate that. This will be. Primary trigger. Okay, and then uh, this one will be attached to the bone Goss R. This one will be attached to Goss L. And I just got to get them to line up right. Nice. Okay. Duplicate this. Put it on Goss R. Perfection. Perfection. <laughs> All right. Now I feel like I'm safe to put this in. Okay. Although I do need the vehicle and model tag for that, admittedly. Okay, the animations are in, new models are in, it's time, it's time. I'm gonna hook it all up, this becomes sofa, sofa. Bulk import. I will have to import the animations manually though, so I might as well look at that. Model, animations, objects, vehicles, sofa. Let's do, yeah. Let's do model animations uncompressed. I don't like compressed animations. It's 2024. We can survive without compressed animations. Theoretically, it's not 100% set up, but we gotta spawn it in anyway, so... Let's put our sofa in. The sofa. It should spawn in. Oh wait, I broke it somehow. This is with the physics model, isn't it? I didn't give the physics model a material, did I? I sure didn't. Damn it. Gosh, freaking dang it, dude. All right, there we go. Now that has a material. Mm -hmm. 
Did it? Oh, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Every time I try to type into this box up here, for the past like two months, ever since Windows 11 was on my system, I swear to God, it's gotten impossible. I, I can't type in there. I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind, dude. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm losing it. Oh. Whoa. Oh, it, it can't drive. It can't do anything yet. Things that make rejected go, what the frick? Dude, I can't handle it. It makes me... I, I, I don't know. Fine. Alright, sofa is probably a little bit large in size. Now, in order to drive the sofa, we need to grab ourselves a nice, comfortable Warthog D animation, a marker called a Sofa D, and an entry marker called Sofa D's Nuts. Sorry, I don't know why I keep calling it the sofa. You're right, Andy. It is the legendary Forerunner tank. E to drive Mongoose? <laughs> yeah, right! Hilarious. It's not a mongoose, obviously, and clearly not a mongoose. Embarrassing. Perfect. Perfection. What masterpiece have I stumbled upon? Is that Vixen? Holy shit! Here, I'll show you. It actually came at a really good time. All right. Now it says, hold E to sit on the comfortable cut Halo 2 Forerunner tank. Didn't open. <laughs> I'm literally ejaculating right now. Okay. Relax. Calm down. You're scaring me. Okay, let's. Uh, we, first of all, it needs to drive for one. Second of all, I don't know what's going on. Why it's not animating, but it's just not, which is lame. I don't think the animations actually worked. It does have combat opening and closing, but I don't know. I just didn't. Oh, you know what? It probably doesn't have powered seats or something. It does have powered seats, but they're very. Oh, does it have controls open and close? It needs that. Closes early, opens late. No, no, no. Where is it? There it is. Controls open and close. Excuse me. Excuse me. They peek out for like one second and then they... <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? This has gone any opening. This is when you get out. Export. Maybe I need an idol where it's like out. Glorious. Yeah, Levixen is a long time huge rejected shotgun fan. The sex machine guy. Wait, I, I hate that. This baby can handle two women at once. Look at that. Are you ready for it? Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> it looks really gross. I hate it. Awesome. It's disgusting. Let's go. Alright, so this is uh, opening. And we'll do closing. Make sure that one's saved. This is 35. I know for me. Hey, I am. You've been streaming like 10 hours. Yes, this is my job. Hi. Oh my god, it's Weasel. Hi. 
She's been here for so long, I haven't said anything. My chat just probably assumes that she's there. It's a weasel! What is it? Yeah, that's what it does. I'm, you want to see why I'm uh, streaming so long? Yeah. Here, uh, wait, I saved that one. Just made dinner. Made dinner? Mm-hmm. Just staring at the fish channel on YouTube. <laughs> you, just, you sound like you really want to watch Fallout. I do. It's the last episode. Is it already the last episode? You gotta watch the last one. Oh shit! No, there's still. There's just, I accidentally made sex penis. Sit down. Doesn't that look very suggestive when they come out? Not Kinda. supposed to be doing that. Those are the things that jerk, jerk off horses. <laughs> Wait, what? You know the things that come out and they like. Do they have to do that? I mean, I guess that's... Of course that exists. Farmers aren't going to be sitting there doing it by hand. They're just sitting there all day doing it by hand like it's for the love of the game. It's just like giant flashlights <laughs> out of couches. What am I always saying? Guys will fuck a couch. I'm not wrong here. That is true. Hi, roommate girl person. Hi, elite eater person. Built on love and couch? Yeah. This the is, max three. Yeah. The, <laughs> the Gauss in. cannon is actually the max three. You don't that's even true. need to take off your VR headset. You just like turn around. Okay. Does she know that? I don't know. I know a lot of things I shouldn't know. Well, I should probably call it quits then because you want to watch Fallout. I've been streaming for four hours. I want to watch Fallout. And my dinner is getting cold. I can't eat unless I'm watching something. Do you guys feel uh, that? I gotta go make myself some dinner actually. Bye, chat. All right. Guys, the couch is looking beautiful. I, I do need to fix it though. I need to finish it. Oh, let's finish the couch tomorrow. That sounds kind of fun. Just some goofy stuff to do tomorrow while working on like the actually cool stuff. Thank you for the suggestion, Milkman. You've been asking for this forever. We got to finish this up and make it awesome. Have a good <laughs> <goon> night. <laughs> hey, soldier. What you're doing out there, I respect it. All right, coming up with ideas like drivable couches. We need more soldiers like you in the UNSC. I respect it. All right, but for real, I'm out of here. Thank you guys for the support today. It's been a fun stream, a slow one, but a fun one. Um, I'm gonna have a lot more fun stuff going with this mod. Right before I go, though, I wanna do I wanna do one run through of this spooky scarab street because I think it looks really damn cool, and it's gonna be motivation for me to continue. Reminds me of the uh, Simpsons couch gag of Homer driving a couch. Yeah, actually, Skaboodly sent that to me earlier in the stream. It was very, very much on point. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Oh god, I accidentally turned too much. Okay, one more, one more turn back. We're good. Here we go. Oh, it's just so much fun. I love seeing that thing just like tearing stuff up. Dude, this is gonna be awesome. I love just blowing these buildings up. Like, obviously, only the Scarab will be able to blow the building up in the end, but it's nice. They just pop, like old popcorns. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream today. I'll be streaming more of this tomorrow, so if you want to see it, you know where to find me. But thank you guys very much. I appreciate you being here. I will see you tomorrow. Peace out. Bye-bye. Good and watch Fallout. I'll eat that Fallout.